this kid that had a graduation. They had preschool graduation. They had kind of graduation. They had kind of graduation. They had a graduation. I'm sick of it. My baby graduated tomorrow, so I apologize, but I'll be a real graduation or the one of the made up ones. It's a real graduation of one of the. Okay, I'm going to hold it. 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 If anybody want to uh, share the posters on my page, y'all can go to my right, page. I'm, all, I'm already sharing it, brother. Okay. And give me one sec. We finna uh, go to... I mean, we already left, but we finna get it cracking. Ricky, Where Anthony and Yolanda? Yolanda? Where the ladies at? Yolanda supposed to be covered there. And Ricky says she finna come on. To. That's, that should be everybody. Alright. Let me share this. Oh, that we that 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 hair popping, Stacy. Hmm. Stacy, that hair popping. No, oh, what's that talking about? Something popping. Who? <laughs> uh, first of all, I'm Nimi Russell from the All Stars songs with all the other <laughs> Yes, this is, oh, this okay. is best friends with my man, uh, G Soldier, one of the greatest battle rappers I know. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know what I mean, B? <laughs> Lacey, did you get that question? Uh, I'm pretty sure I did. I got you, though. If you sent it, I got it. All right. I'm sharing this to some different groups. So. Who else said? Oh, no. We need these backgrounds to be. Wayne is muted. Who is outside like that? Yeah, and just mute yourself if you know your background is right. Yeah, because we fit to get a test of stuff. Oh, he outside. It'll be, be lit. Why did the mug when he hit mute? I feel like I'm in the library now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's one more group and we'll be ready to go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Get all quiet. <laughs> Cause you have so no, no, I'm just like that. Make sure I get all my political answers correct. Okay, Ricky. We got company. In. Ricky coming. It's in. a political answers correct. Are you ready to go to war, huh? No, I'm not. I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> people gonna be people and people gonna do what they gonna do. Facts. I don't have to be right. Yes, you do. I well, I do, ma'am. I have to be right. When's your birthday? Oh, uh, we're not gonna worry about that. <clears throat> you an Aries? Just, no, just no. Our season just left, so I'm still feeling myself from Taurus season. Thank you. Oh, Ew. Thank you Taurus. Ew. Okay. What's wrong with Taurus, Tara? Uh, Everything. Oh, you haven't met me you know in the world. <laughs> First of all, I was I'm the poster child for Tauruses. Thank you. Yes. That's a good thing. The one that okay, what sign are you, yeah. Gemini? Which is one of the no. worst. Oh, no. he said Gemini is one of the worst. You better watch it. We got a Gemini in here. Because what? if you're what? cancer, you can't be what? cancer. Don't what be cancer. happened? Huh? He said That's... Gemini is one of the worst signs. Oh, it's your seat. Your... Okay, because let's let's I'm not go. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Let's... See, you already got bumped into at the battle rap. You know, I could have did more to you. You know what I'm talking about? You know, okay, so this was you bumping me. <laughs> <laughs> so, Montel, I'm going to have to let, I'm going to let you know real quick. Virgo is the, what they say, the sign of perfection. Now, listen, my sister is a Virgo, like my, my blood sister, and she's cool as shit. This is why I get good energy from you. I'm waiting on, I'm waiting on uh, Tierra Michelle. I need her Tara. sign right now. Tara Michelle. Okay, so what what are we what what sign are we? Sagittarius. Oh Lord! Oh wow! And, uh, <laughs> Not fabulous. She threw her head back like she was fabulous. No. <laughs> All, right, yeah, yeah. Honey, All right, yeah, we finna get started. Welcome, y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Battle of the Sexes. We is lit today, man. Y'all know everybody been waiting on this. We had the barbershop show, you know, for the fellas. We had that uh, barbershop talk, you know what I'm saying? The fellas were spinning that truth, you know. Then we had the <laughs> lipstick podcast for the ladies. They were spinning a bunch of lies. You know what? 
Paul, I'm gonna leave if the moderator is gonna be biased. <laughs> right, exactly. exactly. No, hey, listen. So we got so this time, man, we got the fellas and the women there. Right? Bro, we finna hey, I got some great topics. We finna see who telling the truth, who lying, who gonna win this. The fellas said they gonna win. The women said it don't matter how many fellas it is, they still gonna win. So we fit to get it cracking up in this piece. So let's go through these introductions pretty quick. So first we got the beautiful, wonderful talent, just Stacey White. That's what's up. You know, you guys know how to reach me. Facebook, Stacey White. I'm always shaking it up at Second Shake. Y'all can find me there as well. Miss SCL Salas on Instagram. How at you, girl? Well, okay. Then we got the opinionated sense fragrance Tara Michelle up in this pit. Yes, you can find me on YouTube under uh, opinionated sense and Instagram as opinionated underscore sense. All right, and then we got the wonderful always throwing shades Tabitha Shante up there. <laughs> Tabitha Shante on Facebook and Instagram. That's Tabitha with all A's like a good report card, no I. Uh -huh. We are outnumbered. Y'all already see this a set of Ricky is out. I don't know why her stuff right. ain't yeah, low. Well, well, she was. Don't I don't know. She got to come back. And then after that, we got the God MC. You all know said it's your boy Y to the 63 bookers. I hop around here. It ain't no woulda, shoulda, coulda. Why well, see up for this picture? Man, mm -hmm. what's happening is God. If you're looking for me, just pray. And I'm popping <laughs> up. You feel me? YC uh -huh. Bay, do your Googles. 100. <laughs> Oh, that was amazing. All right. And then we got you already know my boy from the All Stars, one of the best. Oh, lyricists. yeah. Oh, one of the yeah. best lyricists out here. Also, you already know that's something to high school up in this piece. <laughs> got my boy, Debbie <laughs> Russell, up in this piece. You know, I'm definitely in this motherfucker. You can find me at BU Social, everything Instagram, TikTok, uh, the whole nine. You know what I mean? We in the building. Let's go. <laughs> All right, and then we got my, my, my PGP homie up in this book for life. We got the same birthday, Sagittarius, December the 15th. We got my boy right. Sean Payne. Yo, what it do, what it do, Sean B on, the, on her. Just ready to give it out the truth. All right. All right. And then we got Battle Rap Connoisseur. You already know, great debater, Wayne Mark giving out coupons. Wayne, he's still up in this piece. What's the word, people? Uh, I'm on call this week. <laughs> uh, depend on how I feel after the show. Uh, soldier <laughs> fucked up my uh shit last time, so <laughs> I ain't had no fucking promo code. I might have one tonight, depending on how I feel. But uh, Almighty PK, I am phenomenal. Let's get the show started. Right. Yeah, I am your favorite rapper's favorite rapper, the best field writer and director, St. Louis Facts, award-winning published author, activist, journalist, business owner, Lacey P. So the turn up to the Let's go. Let's go. Hold on. Let me go get this. Let me get this first quick. I guess, I, hold on. Ricky trying to get back in again. I'm, I'm going to start with Ricky! your question. Yeah, but since you sent the question, <laughs> let me go get your question. That's what's up. We need Ricky. Come and on, I, I screenshot him. It's not a personal cab question. It was a question sent in. That's why I sent the screenshot that it was sent by is, is the Can else. you ask men? Do they question? Is that it? Yeah, it, it was. It was a can you ask men okay, question. Okay, okay, okay. Let me wait. Let me let Ricky get. Ricky, you on? Yeah, she on. here. All I'm right, here, then I'm we here. got Ricky. Is it Ricky Bobby or Ricky Baker? She said you can't find her nowhere, so don't look up for her. We got Ricky in the house for this piece. I actually know where Ricky works. <laughs> Y'all don't know where I work. Y'all just, all day. All just uh, know what I do. Y'all don't know where no, I work. No, I know exactly where you work. Mm -hmm. so, so you was looking at Wayne Wee Wee? But that's for another topic. No, no. Oh, no. All right. Yeah. Her go to first question. It says, can you ask the men, do they think about the consequences of cheating before or during? Let's, or start, let's start with Sean. You're on mute. Oh, there you go. Okay. Man, honestly, I mean, some, at some point you think about it like right before you get ready to do that shit. Like, you like, damn, like, <laughs> I really shouldn't do this shit, but by that time, you be all the way head first in that shit. You be like, fuck it. Oh just go for it. That real shit, like, for real. Like, I mean, I can't speak for everybody. I know in my case, I don't even think about that shit half the time. I just be like, fuck it. And then after I did it, or either while I'm doing it, I be like, you know what? I really shouldn't be doing this shit because this bitch can't keep my mouth closed. Like, <laughs> it, that's really what it be on for me, though. Like, I don't even think about it. I don't, but for me, really, like, the only time I'm even cheating, 
is if I feel like she doing what she do. I feel like mm-hmm. you doing what you do, please believe. I'm a Sagittarius. I mean, I'm gonna get my legs back. That's just me. All right. Why? Why see what what you think? What's the question? Uh, hold on. Go back. <laughs> the question is, can you ask the men, do they think about the consequences of cheating before or during? Okay, somebody else asked that question. Okay. Yeah. Uh, before, before or during? Yeah, before yeah. It or during it. I mean, usually cheating is some spur of the moment type stuff. So I guess during <laughs> you know what i'm saying ain't shit spur the moment about no damn cheating stop lying that shit it is out. for real like man y'all like playing the meetup spot say, who gonna say, come work it's playing that's what i'm saying it, it can be with a phone call or a text out the so blue it's playing like, like it's playing it ain't no spur of the moment it ain't no <laughs> i woke up today and i walked outside and started cheating no nigga you playing this shit all right be what you think. Line. Be what you think. Uh, i'm a different kind of guy so if I'm cheating, that means I'm already out the door. Like, like that means I'm I'm fed up. I'm getting <laughs> still there. To, huh? Making, but you still there. Make it make sense. No, 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 no. When I say I'm out the door, I, okay. Before I start reaching my, I've been this is my longest relationship, 12 years. Before this, I would give any relationship three years solid. If I'm not seeing growth or I'm not seeing this or I'm not seeing the proper change in the situation, then it's like, ah, this is going nowhere. So let me start making my plan B and let me start making my way about this thing because I don't see growth in this female. So that's that's where I'm at with it. Most guys that's just on a late night creep, for them, that's totally random. For most guys, it's just totally random. Like let's say they at a club and they at the bar and they're chilling and it's a heat of the moment type of situation. Some of it's random. But then for other guys that's been in long-term relationships where I just feel like they 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 just habitual cheaters, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just can't be stopped, then that that's 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 just ego to me. That's All where right. I'm at. uh Diamond Diamond says, Hey everyone. Uh what up there? Wayne, you uh we got Yolanda. What's up, Yolanda? What's up? All right, Wayne, you the last male. Go ahead. <laughs> uh look. All right, for, for clarity, ask the question one more time so I can make sure I am answering this correctly. Okay, the question is, can you ask the man, do they think about the consequences of cheating before or during? Uh, <laughs> never. <laughs> never. I'll tell you why, right? Because what the fuck consequences are there? It all depends on who the fuck it is doing the cheating. I kind of, you know what? I, get, I throw tablet at his bone on this one, right? Even though cheating is usually just linking up and fucking. You know what I'm saying? When you got your own shit, you ain't really got to worry about the consequences. Like, I got my own crib. I got my own car. I got all my own shit. You know what I'm saying? So if I cheat on you, I don't have to worry about you throwing my shit outside. I ain't got to worry about you taking your car back. I ain't got to worry about none of that shit. And if you want to come over here damaging some shit, I'm going to just be real with you. Uh... If you gonna go low, I'm just gonna go to hell. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it. We gonna all be out here damaging some shit. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? You bless my windows, I'm gonna touch your car. You know what I'm saying? We Damn. You know, <laughs> if you want to go that far. So the answer to that question for me is nigga, I never think about the consequences. Cause it's like, look, sometimes you're good, they're better. And I chose different. Deal with it. All right. All right, this next topic. Okay. Who is more, who is most responsible for failed relationships, men or women? Let's start with you, Tara. Let's start with you, Tara. Men. Elaborate. <laughs> Why you I that? Um, I, if, just listen to the bullshit crap that we just heard, just spewing from their mouths. From yeah, yeah. Think about it before, and I still do it. I think about it during, and I still do it. I don't think about it at all. Exactly. You are stupid. So yeah, that's my answer. I'm gonna go woman and man. I'm gonna go woman and man. Woman and man. So uh, what about you, Sean? 
man, it's a collective. It's a collective with me, man. I mean, shoot, some relationships I've been in, I've been the culprit of it, and other relationships the woman been the culprit of it. I mean, it, it's individualized on the relationship. It ain't all based on just it. Man, do it all the time. Women, nah, it's, it's a collective because hell, she could hmm. be a nigga. I think it's fifty. And ain't been, and ain't nah, been a nigga piece. Fifty B. It ain't fifty. I mean, feet. shoot, if you ain't my if you ain't my piece, then that's gonna ruin the relationship all the time. And the hell, if I ain't providing, protecting, and doing what I'm supposed to do, then that ruin the relationship. So I mean, it's a 50 50 thing, man. All right, it ain't Stacey. just one person. It takes two to make a relationship work. Stacy, you know it's man. You ain't even gotta ask me that. Y'all be on the uh, craziness, you know. Just again, think about the bullshit they talked about about the chief. You know who? Hmm. Make that make sense. It's not gonna be right. Men are hmm. always. The cause of breakups, and that's just that sex. No, nah. right, right, let me go ahead, be, Debbie. Go ahead, Debbie. <laughs> no, nah, B, listen to me. For ninety-five percent of all my ex-girls, including my last one, told me that she'd have a she'd find somebody to have sex with, but she'd never have a man. Right. So it's yeah. a difference between having a real man that does everything. Like when you come home to my house. The bed's already made. The clothes are already made. Da -da 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 -da. Everything's already done. All you got to do is come home and lay down. Once a man is doing all that, some women get lazy. You don't got to mop. You ain't got to do none of that in my home when I'm the man of the house. So all you got to do is kick your feet up. So in that sense, what are you even bringing to my home or my table as a woman, period? Now, you may be able to fold the clothes or this and this and that, but not, not when it come to me. I'm all around Jordan in my home. So therefore, it's most likely the woman because she's going to get lazy. She's going to get complacent and then I'm going to get tired of her, not stepping her game up and then I am out the door. Thank well, you. Let's, well, let's make that make sense. But it's, the call, it's the cause and the start of you. You are the problem. You no, I'm not. Because you made her lazy. So no, she, no, my mama raised a good man. She told me, she, listen, my mama taught me to make the bed. Half these women don't even make the bed in the morning. Okay, okay but it's the man again. You doing all that laying that yeah. and then you making a, you. Think no, about how it. am I? What did, the, what did the woman's mother teach you? Don't let okay, a man do everything. What I'm saying is you just said when it comes to you, so the, you are That's the what problem. I do. You are the problem. There you go. And I pay half my bills. I pay half my bills and take care of everything that the woman's supposed to so she don't have to complain. Now that you don't have a complaint, what are you doing? Okay. All right, tap it. Go ahead, tap it. So I got so involved in that. Can you repeat the question for me for clarification? Okay. Who, are, who is most responsible for failed relationships, men or women? For failed relationships. It's equal. It's 50 50. So, because I can, <laughs> I can definitely see, I can think of 10 relationships that was a woman's fault, and I can think of 10 that were the, was the man's fault. It's, it's actually like, it's on the individual. The blame it's on somebody. It's yeah. on a selfish person. It's whoever is the most selfish. Okay. Thank you. I All right. Why, why to the. What's the question again? Who is most responsible? Damn, do for listening? <laughs> who is most responsible for male relationships, men or women? The one that is responsible for a failed relationship, nine times out of ten, is an ain't shit bitch that's oh, ungrateful <laughs> as hell. Oh and God! Un an ungrateful ain't shit bitch. Nine times out of ten, oh, if wow. it's a failed relationship. That's the root of it. Mm. And the reason why an uh, ain't shit bitch would know a nigga ain't shit, but she would think she can change this nigga. And then Ooh. over time, over time after she see that she can't change this nigga, now she wanna not take accountability for nothing. But you chose this ain't shit nigga, but you thought you was dope enough to change this ain't shit nigga. What's that make you? An uh, ain't shit bitch. I'm gonna have to call the What the hell? 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 What the hell?
Go ahead. Nah, that was not cold. Fuck that. You that was dumb as hell. Cause that happened <laughs> that all time. Nah, that was dumb as hell. One at a time. One at a time. You lying? Go ahead. That make her ain't shit, bitch. That make okay. her dumb. Make him even more dumb for even being with him. Like you knew you want shit, so why you sitting up here trying to make her ain't shit? Nah, that thank was dumb. You, thank you, Yolanda, Yolanda Ricky. Now, this- <laughs> nah, <laughs> in real life, nah, because I ain't even been coming. I've been letting them get their little issue off. You gonna get your issue off? Too. I sure is, because that was some big bullshit. All right, go ahead, Yolanda. <laughs> okay, so I don't, I don't, I don't like the blame game. Whoever fuck up is the person who is the blame for the fucked up relationship. But to speak on what I just heard was a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> First of all, men always think they're supposed to get a uh, motherfucking gratification for doing what men supposed to do. You supposed to have a motherfucking house. You supposed to pay your bills. You supposed to make your bed, motherfucker. What is you talking about, my nigga? All the things you oh, no, 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 about, no, no, you're no. supposed to no. do as no. a whole grown ass motherfucking well, man. Women, baby. Most women don't so even make the bed these wait, wait, wait. Stop you, you. it. Stop Pardon it. you. I'm thinking, bro. I'm thinking, bro. Go ahead, get, get go ahead. Second, second, how if a woman is willing to work with you when you in your downtime, make her a shit bitch, and then me and I always talking about she always want to fuck with a nigga with money, of course, because motherfuckers like you who don't appreciate a motherfucker who is trying to be there for you when you're fucked up, become a ain't shit bitch because we dealt with your ain't shit ass. Come on now, y'all. Give, give me something to work with her. What the rest of the men at? Go ahead, Ricky. Go ahead, Ricky. You see, rap a lot. I'm surprised that you, boo. You, you, <laughs> you been listening to this Kevin Samuel shit, right? I get that. But women are, we are nurturers. We want to nurture you, motherfuckers, but give us something to work with. Yeah. Man, why she she trying to get up now? Go ahead, Look, Ricky, Bobby. I'm I'm sorry. I ain't gonna I, all women ain't nurturers, they just women. That's hey, just I'm a it's I'm a in you, my I, Listen, I say all women. So if that's you, the shoe fit where they yeah, go, I'm a probably. nurturer. It's a dog man, man. keep my man. But all women ain't nurturers, and the I, relationship blame is on whoever the fuck is on. And basically it's on both of them because shit, somebody Girl, you ain't look some, like you fight your man. Head. I don't fight Do you fight your man. Nah, that's what guns is for. I ain't got time for that. We're talking about all this. We're dealing with the most. Nay, 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 she gonna say both. Go ahead. It is both yes. because it takes two people to make a relationship work. So it's gonna take at least one and a half of them motherfuckers to make it not work. Because if one person ain't feeling it and ain't telling the other person, then shit, it's just as much as they fault. And then that. The problem with relationships, people get complacent. They stop doing the shit they had to do to get the motherfucker. And that's on both sides. That's on women. That's on men. That's not just on no one person. If you was rubbing this nigga feet and then all of a sudden now you like, oh, his feet stink. But you know they've been stinking the whole time. Now you don't want to rub them. Like y'all got to come to a a mutual motherfucker understanding. We got to do to get the motherfucker. It's whoever stopped doing and put your work into that done. That's it. That's who who fought it. It ain't no... Well, men or women, shit, this, ain't shit this ain't shit bitches. This ain't shit people. Right. Well, I know some women act, act more ruthless than niggas. Yeah, I used to be one of them. <laughs> All I right, Wayne. My, I watch my sisters. <laughs> Wayne, go ahead. But can I ask a quick question, though? Go ahead. Go for it. But can, could I ask a quick question? Go ahead. Yeah, go for it. Okay. But, but that's just like when you go get a job or when you trying to get something and you trying to move towards something, don't you put your foot best foot forward to get that motherfucker? That don't be you, you going to be sitting here going I can for it every day you like up. people are human. I don't expect my man to, I don't expect my man to step outside super fly every goddamn day because when I met him, I'm gonna need you to go to somewhere where you got some good Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can barely hear you. All right, I'm in my car. Hold on. Let me get some Wi-Fi. Let me log in. 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 Ricky oh, fucked hey. the rotation up. Yeah, Ricky. I ain't fucked the rotation up. Yeah. He said, "Ricky, go ahead." Shit, the fuck how I fuck it up. Go ahead, Wayne. Oh, go ahead, Wayne. Go ahead. Finish, mean, finish it off, Wayne. Finish, finish it off, Wayne. Check me out. Uh, me personally, I'm not one to play the blame game, but I also, I ultimately say this: I don't deal with men, so 
naturally, I'm going to say women, you know, cause relationships to be fucked up. As a nigga who was a professional side piece for a good six years straight, hey, how you, doing, you know what I'm saying? I done, not knocked, down, do this I done knocked down a lot of niggas' wives. I done knocked down oh, niggas' wow. girlfriends, what fiancés, man. baby mamas, no, all yeah. that. And, hey, and one thing women are doing when they getting primo sausage thrown on them from Wayne Mark, make sure you remember that. Wayne when they, Mark. When they getting primo don't sausage please don't get them started. On them, <laughs> women don't know how to small talk, right? So they talk as if they, they talk to me or the nigga that's dropping sausage in them, treat them like jumping like <laughs> sausage in them. They start talking, they start talking to me. They be like, that nigga ain't do, you know how many niggas I know lost a gig or motherfucking the nigga meat little or the nigga don't know how to eat coochie. All unsolicited information I didn't ask for. It. All I did, all you, all the gal did was place a meat order. <laughs> I prepared the meat order. <laughs> he wanted to come oh, talk to the guy. So, so that being said, in my experience, I will say women. I've never cheated on one girlfriend I've ever had. Granted, I should have cheated on a couple of them because I can guarantee they cheated on me. But that's beside the point. From my perspective, from my point of view, women aren't like, from my perspective, women aren't very appreciative of solid niggas. They oh, use they either used to use the niggas that ain't shit, or or they or they look at a good nigga and think of that nigga as a lick or some shit, like he a fucking mark or a sucker or something. Wait, like. do you feel like you was a solid nigga because you was a side piece for six years? So therefore they already like nigga, you know what it is. So I'm hey, confused. Six, huh. man, Ricky, you you Ricky, I, I, Ricky I, I adore you. I adore you and the fade and the look. Motherfucking peanut m and m shaped heads you got in this screen right, right now. I love it. <laughs> but no. that said, hey, Ricky, I didn't always start out as a side nigga. I was an old love puppy I, ass nigga. I was an old love puppy ass nigga. Love conquers all. Bitter. All that bullshit. Hey, after I seen how the shit went, man, look. I'm just trying to knock hey, as many bitter, bitter. Hey, yeah, yeah. in a but timely manner. Let's thing. get to the next. So let's like, get to the people, next topic. Next topic. Hey, listen. Let's get to the next topic. I'm going to have to mute Wayne. What I'm making is this, right? He's not listening. Next time. All right, next topic. Do women false ever advertise to get men in relationships? Yes. Hell yeah, they do. Fuck on. yes. Ricky, go ahead and take it first. Hell yeah, they do. They fake advertising a whole lot of shit because they just like the motherfucking um food commercials. The shit look good as fuck on there, but when you go get it, that ain't what it look like. Mm. I'm just gonna keep it as simple as that. Bitch, come up made up, looking gorgeous. Take that shit off, bitch. Look like Rasputin and motherfucking Norbit, bitch, and a whole bunch of other hoes put together, looking like six decimal motherfuckers. Nope. All right, Debbie, what you think? I'll sacrifice to get in a relationship. They be lying and telling all kind of shit. Who? Bitches be married, talking about in a relationship. Let me Well, well, you, well, we, we've all, we've all seen Harlem. We've all seen uh, what's that coming to America? I'm gonna get you sucker. I'm gonna get you sucker. I'm, I'm gonna get you sucker. We've all seen that when. <laughs> She said, these are my hips. So you understand where I'm going with this. Once you pull it all off, take it all off, take it all off, that's false. That movie was ahead of its time about plastic surgery, by the way. <laughs> OK, let's add, let's add that to it with the lip and the collagen and the booty. So yeah, it's all false advertising because you wasn't born with it. Right. Or if you was born with it, you cover it up. It's back to Being quick. themselves, we come as we are. Right, you a lot because I work in the men's okay. department, and they be in there all kind of false okay. I'm sorry. Okay, they, they just came with the weed. Uh, they just came with the weed a few years ago. No, no, no. Prosthetics, sir. You know. Getting it fake. Oh, well, I, I, I feel sorry for those guys. <laughs> <laughs> I have to mute them. Time to go ahead. I'm, I'm so, <laughs> so I think when you first meet someone, everyone is showing up with their representative and not their true self. Just like when you come to a job, you don't really be calling off late or warming up fish and shrimp in the microwave and stuff first. Everyone brings a representative at first. That's why I like I like to get to the part where I'm really seeing the real you. I want to see you up in the morning because I look like this 
when I wake up, I look like this when I go to sleep. I when I put makeup on stuff, I actually look really different. So I don't wear it all the time and stuff like that. So I'm just saying, everyone shows a representative when they're first trying to get somebody because you're trying to get somebody. You're trying to lure a fish. You're trying to catch bait. So I don't think that to be true that it's just women. I think men do it as well. Hat fishers. My tail came on her with sunglasses that I had him. That's just me. Before we were live. <laughs> That's just so, me. That's just that's just who I am. Oh, I no, I'm just telling you. What the hell we talking about? Minutes, but, uh, minutes, 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 so is that work? I don't take my glasses off. Time to talk, Montel. Yeah, he got to stop interrupting people. Got to learn to share. So I just <laughs> got to get away from the physicality. Is not always what is the misrepresentation. The misrepresentation to me is more so your personality, your skills, lying and saying I'm a good person, male or female, and you're not. Do what you do. What you represent. All right, my I don't care you, 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 got, you, you got something to say, Nim? No, because they keep saying I'm interrupting. I have nothing else to say, dude. <laughs> Don't I'm, get I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get to you. So, F Mac, the question is: Do women <laughs> false advertise to get men in relation in a relationship? You said thirty nine seventy three. Uh -huh. oh, hold on, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get for jumping to somebody who just got here? Hey, thirty nine seventy three. Look, my, my bad, y'all. Hey, hey, say that question to me one more time. I got, I got. <laughs> women, do, do, hold on, do women, hold on, do women false advertise to get men in a relationship? Man, they always false advertising. Boy, they false advertise everything. All right, Tara. We just won the battle. He just Tara, Tara. Hey, listen. And, and look, this another thing, too, man. Like, makeup is witchcraft, dog. Listen, man. Make, hey, real talk. Makeup, makeup is, is, is legit witchcraft. These females, they put that shit on. Hey, that's why I like natural beauty. I, I don't like caked up makeup ass females. But I got go. Say no more, man. Ain't no trash back here. All right, Tara, go ahead. Okay. Um, I, I can agree with that. Tabitha and I, we're on the same same page here. Like the only thing you'll ever catch me wearing is lipstick or lip gloss. Like I do, I couldn't even begin to tell you about no damn foundation and fake eyelashes. That it's just not me. It's too much of a hassle. So for me, I agree with Tabitha everybody, well, I'm not gonna say everybody because I do pride myself on trying to be authentically who I am. I'm gonna let you know I got a bad temper. I'm gonna let you, you gonna see I got a smart ass mouth. Like I just wanna be who I am in front of you because if you don't like who I am, I wanna know that right off the bat so we don't have to do this. So I do think for the majority of people, they put their best foot forward in an attempt to get you and to say the things they think that you wanna hear. And it only bites you because it Real, you know, they might not be what they want. Yeah, so keep it real. All right, watch well, it. Both though. Yes, women do it, but men right. sure as hell do it. Oh, I can lay it down. Why eat your boo Ain't never ate it in their life. Oh, I, I'm a, I'm a deep stroke this day. We show four inches. Get the everybody. Do it. Hey, right. I'm a firm hey. believer that show always beats tail. Hey, hey watch, I'm gonna have to it. strongly disagree with Tabitha. Because everybody ain't showing up with their representative. Everybody ain't showing up just trying to sell a dream just to get what they want. It's some it's some real solid individuals in this world that show up as who they are and what you who see is, is on what the block? you get. You Hold on, can I finish? Don't get it up, God. Hold on, wait a minute, world. Well. Wait a minute, world. Well. <laughs> Whoever well, got kids in the background, mute yeah, right yeah. Now. Why see? I can't hear you, bro. Somebody kids going on. Go ahead, uh, right. go ahead, it ain't man. mine. Go ahead, go ahead and finish, bro. Body right. <laughs> this, <laughs> this what I'm saying, man. Uh, shit, I'd have lost my train of thought. I know I played you that. Said, you said that everybody don't show a strong representative. Oh, okay, yeah, I was saying I strongly disagree. Everybody ain't showing up with a representative trying to lure somebody with uh selling them a dream with lies and all of that other goofy ass shit. I was saying it's super solid ass women and men in this world that show up as who they is. And if you ask questions, you go get honest answers and you gonna accept it or just make your next move your best move. But to answer the question at hand, hell yeah, man, women will show up in full costume. You know what I'm saying? And it's with fake eyes, fake 
everything, fake butt, fake hair, fake face, and want a real nigga. How you gonna want a real nigga? You ain't even showing up real. You ain't on your authentic self. You know what I'm saying? So that's the answer to the question. I have a question. You raise their hand. You should mute themselves. Yes. I raised my hand. He said I could talk. So right. if y'all know this to be true and it's witchcraft and women are showing up with all this costume, why are y'all attracted to costumes then? We ain't love, attracted to the costume. We attracted to the pussy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what niggas oh, is attracted to the hurt. pussy. Wow. Niggas okay, let y'all do that fake wow. ass shit and we let that fake ass shit pass, okay, that yeah. ain't shit bitch ass shit pass you because it's all for the pussy. Like and Make then it. once we get the pussy, you can get the fuck away from us. So stop. <laughs> All right, um, Stacy. Um, first of all, Hello, girl. First of all, I represent for the beauty. Okay, I'm. This is my field, so you got to represent you. Okay, but my baby has seen me with and without. Okay, and I still, I'm still part. So let's make that make sense for all those who. <laughs> Whatever they don't wear, that's on you. Keep it real, all right? This is me. So, um, again, if you're gonna represent, represent right. That's all I'm saying. And um, for the men, they be coming with some craziness too. Um, you think you getting some real good, and, and you like, what the hell happened? So uh, it's on the win, it's not all on the women. It's men too. You know, it's, they not coming correct. You know, but if you choose to stay or whatever, that's on you. That's all I got to say. All right, Sean. I mean, honestly, I mean, not really. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, the question say, do women come like dressed like that to fool you, they trick you into a relationship? Nah, they just, that's just how they represent themselves when they first meet you. Now, when the relationship don't even start off on the first day, let's just start off after y'all get to know each other and shit. So, I mean, that's a false advertise to get, to get you in a relationship. No, nah, hell no. I mean, if you ain't if you ain't smart enough to see through that bullshit from the beginning, then I mean that's on you. Hell no, you can't fool me into no thank relationship. You, thank you, thank you. Nah, thank you. No. Uh, you about, Yolanda, what? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I forgot you went on. Do do women false advertise to give me in a relationship? I'm sorry. Repeat the question. Do women false advertise to get a man in a relationship? Yeah. <laughs> y'all wow. some lying fuckers so listen we gonna lie until we feel like y'all I mean we gonna give you what your hand called for if you ain't the person that we really even want to tell our business to yes I'm a lie why not if I look at you as just somebody that might be somebody that I'm not even really feeling for a long term situation fuck yeah I'm a lie why not you motherfuckers lie from the gate from the gate I ain't got no baby I didn't hear so many lies. Oh my god, my mama lived with me. My me and my baby mama just cool. We got a living arrangement. I ain't fucking heard all. We stay together. What the fuck? Me and my wife, we don't know the situation. That's all y'all do is lie. So why can't I lie? Why I gotta be one super? Why I gotta be a hundred with you when you ain't even being a hundred with yourself? Then like Tabitha said, you see your representative to meet me. Your representative got big dick energy. He got that <laughs> big energy. He got that toe sucker energy. But then you come to the party with your real you who ain't got popping. Your dick is lame, little, <laughs> short, fucked up, ugly, got a bump on the side. Do you still want me to fuck the motherfucker? You still let him fuck. Y'all do fuck. I expect too much and y'all got us fucked up. Period. I ain't got time to sit here and play with y'all. Everybody, we got old boys think he got because you got a crib, but it's your bathroom claim. It's your bathroom claim. It's your yeah, bathroom claim. All right. Period. Point 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 point. All around the toilet. When you no, okay. the all right, Wayne, go ahead. I'm just saying. Hey, hey I much. was going to go in a whole nother direction till I just heard Hey, <laughs> you <laughs> talking about niggas false advertising? You still let that nigga fuck. <laughs> no. That nigga broke. No. That nigga bummy. That nigga got a bump on the side of his shit. Oh, <laughs> <didn't>... <laughs> what? 
What? Y'all crazy. What? Hey, let me tell oh you something. Hey, I usually, oh hey, look, I usually charge for this information. I'm going to get it. Yeah. <laughs> Once a nigga fuck, that nigga won. Okay? But we fuck who we want to fuck, though. That's what you don't know. When hey, we you know you going to fuck, fuck you a nigga that the first 10 minutes dick, that we a nigga with weak dick, dick a nigga with bumps on the side of his shit, up, a nigga with a dirty bathroom, a nigga who stay with his BM, a nigga driving his mama car. What? We got hey. that far dick, though. And you willing to overlook all dumb shit and then get the motherfucking pole dumped in? I ain't heard. <laughs> and then dump your motherfucking like question. Fucking question. Hey, hey, and the same dick they be dissing, cause they go hit the it again. The same dick they dissing, bro. I throw the same dick they dissing. They sucking that night. What? <laughs> On my mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> Let's get to the next topic. Hey, hey, Yolanda got me off topic. Let's get back to it. Do women false advertise to get in a relationship? Yes, they do. Now, I will say this. Some of everybody I don't, but you know. Sarah, you've met me. Tell, you've met me. I am as advertised. Of course, I wouldn't shoot my shot at y'all, but you get what I'm saying. Who y'all seen on this podcast is who y'all saw in person, right? Cool. Boom. That being said, to stick to the question, yes, women are advertised, right? Women are the coolest motherfuckers in the world. What are you doing? Did you put these mute, mute feelings? <laughs> hey, yeah, bro, I hear your bag crunching <laughs> shit, bro. He already, he already muted. All right, you know, look. Hey, women are the coolest people in the world until you get with them. When you a man, when you a man and you pursuing a gal, she think you funny. She think you charming. She think you, she think the world of you. The second y'all motherfuckers in that relationship that she acted like she was so cool with all this other shit, she laughed at all your bullshit ass jokes and all this other shit. The second y'all in a relationship and a nigga say something that was normally funny, now it ain't funny no more. And by now you ain't cool no more. Gail in his makeup and shit. Hey, I am a firm believer. I am a firm believer. That girls who can't be outside, like like they can't be outside without makeup. You got issues. You showing up with a representative already. You see this nigga hurt? I woke up like this. Imperfections and all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all woke up with another motherfucker. Her and y'all head. Be lazy y'all woke to up with fucking. motherfucking. Don't y'all woke it. up. Y'all skin tone <laughs> wasn't matching. So you went through this pain on yourself to make your skin tone match. So the point I'm making is this. Everybody does, but do women lie to be in a relationship or at least all that other shit? That's yes. bullshit. That's Man. bullshit. So men that look good and get their hair cut and shit, they insecure, be looking fly. I cut, like, my hair. That's I cut my hair. That's you because you're you lazy. Don't want to go to the barbershop. Don't make you real. Uh, yeah. we're you're wearing, the you're wearing topic. weed on, as man. we speak. We got to be you. We got to get to the next topic. We got to run through these topics. All right. Uh... Nemi, this one for you. So this is a two-part question. That's the one. So the def- define difficult woman versus a strong woman, and are independent women toxic? Um, are independent women toxic? Yeah. No, so first, first part. First, define difficult or difficult woman versus a strong woman, and are okay. independent women toxic? Okay, difficult versus strong. Um. I would define difficult as some. I would define difficult as someone that's just always being combat combative for no reason. But this is this is difficult on the. I feel like on an educational level, right? If you're really trying to get to the core of a person that doesn't truly know themselves, so you're asking next level questions on. Let's say you're talking about spirituality, or you're talking about anything of that nature, and they just can't grasp those type of concepts. So therefore they become, that becomes difficult for them to grasp onto that person. It's like somebody 
that's never dated a Muslim from the nation of Islam. And he's like, sister, why don't you da 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 da? And she's like, I ain't on that type of shit, right? This becomes difficult for her to grasp in those kind of concepts. Strong is something different for me. Like you can be strong because you've been a single mother your whole entire life. So you have to be strong. Like I've met, I've met a couple of women that I've actually said like, yo ma, I understand that you're this strong because you had to raise, you had to play the man part and the female part. So your strength comes from another aspect. Yeah, and you can't, and she can't let her guards down. It'll take that woman a long time to really say, okay, I get it. I'm finna let another man in my life to where I can just tone it down a bit. You know what I'm saying? So, and then give me the last part. Are independent women toxic? Now, if 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 independence comes with that strength, yeah, it's it's gonna seem toxic, right? Because again, she's been on her own, holding her own self down for a long time. And yeah, you trying to get her to focus on you. You try to say, ma, I'm a good man. Ah, da, da, da. Let me pay, let me do this and let me do this. And she like, nah, my nigga, I got my bills. I got my this, I got my that, I got my this. And you start being like, then it starts being combative. Well, you need a man to be in your life. And she's like, cuz I don't need all that right now. And so in that exchange of what you trying to be for her and what she has been for the last five years on her own, that's hard. Okay. So, all you right. know what I mean? Sarah, what you think? You can't you're, muted, you. you're muted. There you go, Jug. You're muted, but somebody uh, watch <laughs> no, it. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I like I like what you said, Marcel. I actually agree with that a lot. No, let me him. Go ahead. I'm like, who is that? Um <laughs> so I like what you said, Montel. I can agree with that. I think the difference between um it, it's a strong woman and a and a what woman? Diff difficult. Yeah, I think a difficult woman is somebody who has like some emotional, she's broken, she's broken. So nothing that's not her way is going to, you know, be good enough. So you can, if you're difficult, it's it's toxic. It's, it's always combative. It's always something wrong. You can be a strong woman. Um, and I think for, for being a single woman and all that good stuff too, but sometimes just as you were raised right, you have your career, you know what you want. You can be assertive and strong, but not be toxic. And as far as independent women being toxic, if you're the type of independent woman who can handle your own and that makes you feel like you don't need a man, you can be toxic. Now, if you didn't have a man, would you die? No, like you need you know, oxygen, you need water, you need all this. This is like figuratively or metaphorically, or even if you're using symbolism, when you say you need a man. I say I need a man. So if I, when I get to the point to where I want to be happy, I see myself with a man, not single, um, living this life. Somebody that I can grow older with, retire with, travel with. So that's why I would say that. But if ever you get to the point where you're like, I can handle it all on my own. So I don't need him. You're never going to respect him or treat him right or let him be. I know we hate to say the head of the house or lead in the relationship. It, it doesn't mean the toxic way that people try to turn it into. But if you go into it like I don't need him, you'll never respect him. So it can be toxic. But if you're an independent woman who knows you still need a man to complete that, then no, you won't be toxic. All right, watch to the What's happening? Define a difficult woman versus a strong woman, first of all. Difficult woman is an ain't shit bitch with a lot of makeup on her face, eyelashes fake, her fake, she fake, her friends fake. They fake to each other. They always sneak dissing each other behind each other back. But when they come around each other, it's all love and smile. Then they leave each other dissing each other again. Yeah. And she always saying how fucked up life is, how hard life been on her. But really, her choices prove that she don't really give a fuck about nothing. And that's what a difficult woman is. A strong Why woman. Say you is, need a hug. A, a, strong, <laughs> a, 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 a strong woman is a woman that can make a change without outside circumstances making her make a change. Like if a woman can make a change on her own and still maneuver through this thing called life successfully, that's a strong ass woman. 
Now, as an independent woman, toxic, that depends. If the independent woman is an ungrateful bitch, yes, she toxic as hell. Even though she independent, got her own, she ungrateful. And if you ungrateful, shit, you living in hell. But a woman that is grateful and appreciate uh, shit and she independent, no, she's not toxic. She's a blessing to the earth and I fucks with her. All right, Ricky. <laughs> I can't even, why you gotta have me go behind watching? <laughs> 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 Tell me the same shit, bitch. Like, I just feel like I'm gonna give you a hug while I see. I don't even know you, bro, but you need a hug. <laughs> you done had one too many ain't shit bitches. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just gonna go backwards here. So I don't think an independent woman is toxic. I think it's more of a complex for some men, you know, the I wear the pants kind of thing. I don't think it's so much that she's toxic, but it does depend on the woman and like how she defines her independence. Mm -hmm. Because every woman's independence isn't the same thing. And some women can be toxic with their, I'm independent, I really don't need anybody for anything. Like, you're just here. Like, we think that in Tyler Perry, you know, daddy's little girls, you know, she was an independent woman who felt like she didn't need a man. And, you know, she didn't give them a fair chance. But that's just one situation. It just, it definitely depends on the woman and her definition of her independence. Secondly, what was the first question? Difficult what versus strong. I don't even know how they came up with these two together because they two totally opposite negatives. Like it's like a double negative kind of thing. Cause some people take you being strong as arrogant. Like you don't know their struggle and you don't know why they feel like they're that strong. So I think that's a whole issue in itself. And I'm not going to say because a woman is difficult that, you know, she's toxic either. I'm just going to say that she has trauma she hasn't dealt with. And mm. until she gets to the root of those, she's going to always seem like she's a difficult woman because she has not dealt with her own inner demons and her own insecurities and her own whatever it is that's calling, causing her to feel or be in such a negative manner where she's difficult to deal with. It's, it's, a, it's an inner working for, for her. Um, you know, I don't, I don't do the, I don't know. Some females just fucked up and they just is what they is. So, right. and don't you say shit, YC, but That's some bad. females are just like, <laughs> I like her. I like F her. Mag. Like her. I like her. I like her. I like her. I like her. So, difficult versus a uh, strong woman, define that, and then, uh, or independent women toxic. Boy, this, this is an awkward ass question man uh i'm gonna just sum both of them up like this you know what i'm saying <clears throat> a woman that don't see value in a man you know what i'm saying period yeah. can be difficult or toxic you know what i'm saying like so <clears throat> i don't think independence make a person toxic i think the individual you know what i'm saying i just think it just depends on the individual you know what I mean? Because some people just, hey, they don't need a nigga for shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and with that type of mindset, you know, we was put on this earth to purr. You know what I'm saying? So if you just think you can just do this shit on your own and you just going to be this crazy, wow, I just I just think the toxic and the difficult go together. You know what I'm saying? That toxic person going to automatically be difficult and that difficult person, person going to automatically be toxic. You know what I'm saying? Like, so the woman herself got to see value within her relationship and her man, you know what I'm saying? And understand, you know, what we bring to the table and, you know, what 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 our role is. So if she don't see that, then she's going to be both difficult and toxic all in one. All right, Stacey. So I heard you all and I agree with all you guys. And it kind of took, for me, it kind of took me raising my son uh, to learn value or, or to appreciate like men, really. Because um, I consider myself as an independent, strong woman. 
Um, and sometimes that could make me seem like I'm difficult because I may be like, you ain't got to buy me none. I got this, that, and the third. But I have learned to let my man take the role of kind of being in control, like while we're out and things, but I also have his back. But um, with me raising my son, I kind of learned how to kind of work with, um, I guess, living life, um, you know, giving a man a chance and stuff, because I want him to see that. And I want him to value females as well and to have a good relationship. Um, so um, it took me a while to really um, learn this thing about not being difficult and by not being difficult, not being so strong. And uh, even though I'm indep uh independent woman, um, I still have to let my man take somewhat of control, you know, because I want him to uh, value being with me or, or, you know, it's a couple's thing. So not just a um, me thing. Okay. So um, um, independent or difficult and all of that can seem like you're toxic because you're strong and all that goes together for me but once you learn to work together with your man and to know that you guys are equal and to play a part together it, it's better all right pgp sean pgp i don't guess i guess he ain't there we'll go with the other sean bradsphere all right wait but there you go hold on sean. <laughs> go ahead pgp <laughs> yo what it do fam Man, honestly, I mean, yeah. that difficult versus toxic situation, man, like, I don't know. My mom was independent. I was raised by a strong woman, like, for real, for real. Like, my father was locked up all my life. So, like, yeah. But my mom ain't difficult. My mom one of the most humble people I've ever seen and never known. Like, sometimes too passive. But, I mean, I think what makes a woman toxic and what makes – anybody toxic is not being able to take accountability for what it is that you did and keep running back to the same situation even though you know it's a harmful and it's a dangerous situation for you like if you ain't got no peace then don't bring that to me like that's what that's what makes a person toxic to me when you start messing up my peace like that's when you get toxic but as far as difficult, I mean, women are supposed to be difficult. We ain't, it ain't supposed to be easy. Anything worth having don't come easy. Now, I ain't saying that it's supposed to be, that it's supposed to wreck your peace, but she always supposed to make you work. It's supposed to make you, make you really just want for it. I mean, shoot, if, you ain't, if it ain't easy, if it's too easy, then you get bored and you don't want it no more. So, I don't know, man. All hey. right. Tabitha. <clears throat> so, the first part is difficult one. Woman Perfect. versus a uh, strong Fine. woman. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I feel like a difficult woman is just someone that doesn't get along with others. So, period. No matter who it is, um, a strong woman is someone that gets everything done that they say women do in society, but she does it still with femininity. So that's the difference to me of if, if she's difficult while she does it, or if she's strong. Just like he made the reference of his mother. His mother was strong because she did everything that she needed to do, but he said she was still humble. So she still was a feminine woman. I do think independent women sometimes can become toxic because we are raising up another generation um, and we have the control of that generation and we are instilling those values as if when you're too independent and you're not nurturing at the same time, you, we're ruining the next generation. So it's just like a story that I was reading. Um, there were three little girls like around age 11. They asked each little girl, what did they wanna be? The first little girl said, I wanna get married go to college, have some kids. All right. Second little girl said, I want to go to college to meet my husband, and, but I want to have my career. The second, the third little girl said, I want to go to college, get a good job and have two kids. And they were like, well, what about your husband? I don't need a husband. I can take care of everything on my own. Well, the little girl that didn't want a husband is the only little girl that looked like me. And that kind of hurt my feelings, but she was raised by an independent, strong, difficult, probably black woman. And I just need us to remember we can be feminine and soft at the same time as being strong. So you have to have balance. Otherwise, it would become toxic. All right. Sean Bradsfield. What is the oh, what uh, is it to toxic versus to difficult? No, difficult. I came in late. Oh, yeah. So it's difficult woman, define difficult woman versus a strong woman and are independent women toxic. I think sometimes independent women can develop can develop toxic traits. 
because she is how, how she views uh, all the things that has she has to wear I get it it's not it's not the ideal position um, but strength doesn't necessarily def strength is not necessarily defined as you taking on everything and doing everything yourself uh, sometimes there's, there's a strength in and uh, knowing how to delegate and knowing how to let others lead uh, that's what leaders do strong leaders do they let others delegate they identify the strengths of other people if she's in a relationship identify that man's strengths and let him come in and do what he's supposed to do you may not uh run off hand like oh he don't know how to lead it okay you don't know he doesn't know how to lead if, unless you let him lead give give him that 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 maneuvering room to strive to lead and, and don't try to like you know let that toxicity that has developed out of your independence don't let that take over if that makes sense okay yolanda yolanda you gotta unmute yourself repeat the question define a difficult woman versus a strong woman and or independent women toxic okay so difficult and strong go side by side. So women, we have a thing about us where we want to be taken care of. We want to play our roles and we want to play our positions. But the things that y'all speak of come with hurt. They come with trial and error. If you constantly put your trust and your love and energy in the people and they constantly let you down so you become independent you feel like i trusted this person they played me i got me it comes with a certain um demographic or it's learned it could be learned or whatever but we natural nurtures we want to we want to rely on our man to have our back and when that don't happen then we become this, we got this game face, but underneath that game face is the same soft cotton ball current person. Now, some people have more trauma than others and they will, it will take longer to get through that bulletproof vest. But we don't wanna be strong. We don't want to be independent. We don't want to be none of the things that the world has made us. But this is what we have to be to survive. And we got it. We got it. So you can't blame us for making what for being what the world has made us to be. Who want to take care of kids? Who want to take out the trash? Who want to sit here and not have a man? Who want to do that? Like you got to be crazy to want to do that. So it's not. I I wouldn't say it's not our fault. I would say that. Um, it is what it is. It is what it is. And because you, what was the second question? Toxicity? Yeah, or independent are toxic? women toxic. Yes. Are strong women toxic? Independent women toxic? Yeah. They can be. They can be. Because as soon as you trip, they're going to automatically delete you. They're going to automatically say, okay, you resemble the traits of somebody else. And that's not fair. You resemble the traits of somebody else that I dated. So I don't got time. I'm not going to go through it. Yeah, and you can be a little too independent for your own good. But I don't know how those particular women deal with that because that's something that they have to deal with with a psychiatrist or within themselves or learn how to breathe or learn how to, you know, just relax. And Every man not the same. Every woman not the same. That's why we sit here having this conversation. Y'all think every woman is the same. Some women think every man is the same, and it's simply not true. It's not true. I'm so tired of being y'all. My name is Yolanda. My name is not y'all. Who the fuck is y'all? Okay, so that's the answer to my question. We got to right. uh, judge each person individually. We're not the same. All right. And last but not least, Wayne. For this topic. Sweet. Uh, uh, a strong woman and a difficult woman can be the same thing a lot of the times. I feel like the complete difference between the two is uh a strong woman is like hey I got it on my own. I got it if I gotta get it but I'm open to receiving help if motherfucking I need it 
Whereas a difficult motherfucker is like, look, yeah, your shit made sense, but nigga, I still want to do it my way. I don't care if it's going to drive us off a cliff. I want to take the chance to go off the cliff first and then do that. So that's the difference between strong and difficult. As far as an independent woman being toxic, no. However, a girl that is independent can be toxic. And it kind of is hand in hand with my last answer. Whereas, don't be so motherfucking independent that you just like, I can't accept no help. I'm not going to deal with it. Like, that is where it becomes toxic. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, I did this. I did that. I did this on my own. Bravo. Congratulations. You did adult shit. You want a cookie for doing shit. Technically, you're already supposed to be doing for your motherfucking self. You know what I'm saying? But if you can get some help from a motherfucking worthwhile, trustworthy person, they don't even got to be a significant other. You know what I'm saying? There's some motherfuckers who don't accept help from a motherfucker at all. Like, they willing to drown before they accept help. And that is where it becomes toxic because, you know, motherfuckers is tripping. So, you know, that's just my thing on that. I feel like on both sides, they can both, go hand in hand and be the same thing but statistically and you know just off the top i don't think independent women are toxic uh they can be but they're not not out the gate and the difference between strong and difficult is a motherfucker willing to listen to reason versus a motherfucker that's willing to you know die on a hill on some shit that's not clearly not going to work or work as good as going with reason so there you have all right. So next I ain't time. Made sense. <laughs> All right. I always make sense. Quit playing with me, Tabitha. All right. Always. Go to the next topic. Tabitha, I'm going to start you off with this one. So if you're in a relationship, do likes and comments uh, matter? Is you in the wrong? If you're liking and commenting on Facebook and Instagram of the opposite sex, if you're leaving them likes and comments. Hey, but Tabitha, before you go, hey, soldier, I'm going next. I already got my answer prepped. All right. Sure. All right. Not already prepped. So the question is, if you're in a relationship, do like Facebook likes and hearts and stuff matter? Yeah, comments and all that type of stuff of the opposite sex. Like, like should your partner trip off that knowledge? <laughs> it, it, I will leave it to this. It depends on the individual the couples and what they feel is okay and acceptable in their relationship. Because some people don't care um, and, the, and the attention behind it. Because sometimes you just scroll and I give a lot of pity likes and hearts because if I see somebody out there with their selfie, you know, when they paraline way back there and they ain't got no likes or loves, I'm going to put it on there. And the people that's <laughs> close to me, I'm in a relationship, they going to know that Tabitha not interested in that guy. She's just trying to make him have a happy day, you know, and make him feel good, you know, but not like I'm not going to jump it in this inbox. I know a lot of women do have a problem with it because their guy never likes or loves. I hear this all day. Never likes, loves, hearts, or comments on their stuff, but their social media friends. So in order to fix it, I just feel like, like and love y'all lady stuff too so she can just shut up like i don't understand why is the problem with compromising then it won't be no problem if your significant other has a problem with it cut it down don't be so thirsty putting the, like the little tongue and high, you know some of the little emojis could be a little bit much and a little uh, eggplants and a little water squirting out but if it's a little light you know something like that i don't think it should be a problem i don't chip off of that because i know men can cheat in anybody in the middle of the day in the nighttime None of that stuff matters. If they're going to do it, they're going to do it. If they're not, they're going not, to not. It doesn't matter if it's on social media. All right, Wayne, go ahead. <laughs> Look, I feel like motherfuckers shouldn't trip off of that regardless. And I feel like people, specifically girls or anybody that trip off likes and shit on social media, they're insecure as all fuck. Hey, women, I'm going to speak from a man perspective because I don't deal with men. Women don't stop being attractive because I got a bag because my gal bag. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, hey, she look good. I like this. Because this is the thing, right? Instagram, right? To like something is technically a heart. Heart is a symbol for love. Motherfuckers lose their fucking mind over seeing heart on that shit. Like, nigga, what? But in reality, it's like, look, I like it. But you know what I'm saying? It's like, to trip off of what a motherfucker's put on social media is ridiculous. It's gals that say they are, it's gals that say they are top off Idris Elba right now. You know why they so brave to say that? Because they don't really believe they'll actually meet Idris Elba to act this out. So this random baddie on Facebook or Instagram or whatever the case is, 
if she look good, I'm gonna give her credit. That's just what the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? But to trip off what a motherfucker like on there, that's bullshit. And if you're that insecure about it, nine times out of ten, you don't look like little baby who shit I like or love. So I can either A, block you, and you'll never see it. That'll lead to a problem, but whatever. Or you can use it as motivation and possibly, I don't know, try to look like the motherfucker who shit I'm liking on motherfucking Instagram and That's Facebook. Like can I and, go next? You know, I, I, I yeah. need to question weighing on this, or question the men, because I, I've just going off of what someone have told me. Some of them feel disrespected because it's embarrassing to them that their friends or their family, you know, and you guys have heard it, are saying, and you yeah, he right. out here embarrassing you, he liking her stuff. So the likes and the hearts, I get it. That's the only thing that you can do on there. Do you think the comments are a bit much? I do feel like niggas to be going overboard with the comments. Like a motherfucker say you look good, that's cool. I ain't going to lie, bro. Look, I know this is a battle of the sexes. I got partners that be wilding under comments, bro. <laughs> niggas get the, niggas get the emoji dropping and shit. I'll be like, yeah, nah, I can't I can't help you with that, bro. You you wild. A quick yeah. like, all that other shit. Also, one final thing I didn't ask. I agree. One final thing I didn't ask. Gals tripping off they man not liking that shit. Hey, look. I hate to break this to motherfuckers, but newsflash. Familiarity breeds content. I see you every motherfucking day. <laughs> every day. The thieves room. Every the motherfucking thieves. post, every picture. If I've seen you look better than that picture you posted, I'm not finna motherfucking like that. Now, if it's a special event like, oh, I just started my business, I just went to, I, 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 it was this bar that I went to that I got invited to by my business partners or whatever the fuck. That's a special occasion. Cool. This gal over here with her ass on the sink, make up out, or you know what I'm saying, at the gym, I don't know her from a can of paint. So With her like, fake eyelashes on and her weed, her fake eyelashes, her makeup, her foundation, all that stuff that you just said you don't like. Okay. I didn't say I didn't like that. I didn't say that. I said I would knock all of that off. So let's let's not right. play with the guy like that. Let's, you can let's go ahead. Get the, next, get the Rick. Go ahead, Ricky. Um, I think I definitely agree with Wayne on certain parts because it is an insecurity. Like, and some females do be going overboard because I'm like, who the fuck got that kind of time to be going through the likes and the and the hearts Fact. and she parted it? Like that is that is obsessive. Like. Not only are you obsessed with this motherfucker, you got too much time on your hands, which means you ain't doing something you supposed to be doing. So that that's that's too much. Now the comments, yeah, they get to be a bit much, but I don't even I don't think you should really trip off the comments. I think you should only trip off the comments if your spouse is commenting back on them. Like I think that's when you should be concerned, it, depending on what they're saying back to the people. If it's a simple thank you, leave it at that. But if a motherfucker on there talking about some, yeah, I want to suck your ass from the back and then do all this shit, and then your spouse on there talking about some, ooh, that sounds like a good time. Yeah, you should probably question that. All but, right, so Ricky, so Ricky, so if that comment was made and then the spouse hearts that comment, is that a problem? I don't think that it's a problem that they hearted it. I think it's an issue because they hearted that nasty comment and not the one that, said that you're pretty. Like, that's right. Like, what you trying to say? But I feel is like, that? like, is you trying to say you want this person in particular to do it? But then again, that's that's a that's more of a you thing, and your insecurity playing on. Well, I ain't eating her ass from the back on the regular, so maybe I should start because she liked this dude when he said it. And you know, I'm just saying that still falls under the category of the insecurity. So, uh, I mean, sure. I think it's definitely an insecurity thing with people, but I think people put way too much emphasis on what a motherfucker saying on social media like as long as you at home with your spouse and you ain't tripping off of it and you're not insecure like that and y'all confident in y'all relationship it shouldn't matter hey dude can take my game i ain't shooting no way shine brass fit well my thing is what what's the motivation behind the, the, the comment i mean i've seen i mean i've seen uh pictures of people on Instagram and this that, and the other. If it's a tasteful picture, yeah, I'll give it a like because I also do photography. So certain images I look at from my photography side, it's artfully done. 
So I'll, I'll like it, but I'm not about to feel like, oh, let me say something. Oh. You know, it's like, what is, to me, it all depends on what the motivation behind it is. And social media doesn't offer anything simple, like a heart. I mean, if on Instagram, you don't have anything other than a heart. It doesn't give you any other option other than a heart, like whatever have you. So I don't know. Some people, some people are just in their feelings and insecure. It's just if it's a heart, you know, brush over that, step over it. If it's a comment, you know, depending on where it is, you know, then you know, address it as such. But Sean, leave the comments. You got a question. Out of it. What if he hearts every picture that she has? Being yeah, fast away to work. Then that, that, you know, that's that's. That's another con that's another conversation that y'all need to have. Because right. the because the thing about it, if it was flipped and, and she's hardened like all of you know Michael B. Jordan's pictures, it's not a big deal. It's Michael B. Jordan. What what are the odds of their past even crossing? But she ain't, you know, she ain't gonna cross his path no time soon. You ain't gonna cross paths with, you know, whoever the the highest actress he is right now, or whatever, have you know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, he heart the pictures. Big, big deal. I think it's like, don't, don't, don't make a big deal out of it if it's not worth making a big deal out of it. All right, Yolanda. Repeat the question. If you're in a relationship, uh, do you think it's uh, wrong to like and heart and comment on uh, the opposite sex? Uh, well, I don't. I think it's healthy, actually, because I got my fantasy lover, and you should have yours as well. I think, I think when you're in a relationship, that word relationship, people put too many. It's just a label, you know what I'm saying? We are still people, separate entities, living amongst the world. And for me to think that I'm the only person that you should be attracted to is asinine. Like. I know I got you. You mine. You belong to me. We. I belong to you. You belong to me. We together. But I'm realistic. So for me to think that you should only be attracted to me and I don't, first of all, I don't think that, I think that when you're in a relationship, you should not really follow each other on social media. Social media is a fantasy world. It's not real. It's a um, um, it's a facade. It's, go, it's where people go. Like I call Facebook, Facebook. It's a, it's a place where people go live their fake lives there. It's not reality. So for me to get mad because you like some big booty pitch, some big booty bitch picture, like I might like the bitch picture too. That don't mean I want to fuck her. What the hell? I'm giving her her props. So I think it's healthy to have a fantasy relationship in reality, but then come home and fuck me like you would fuck her. I think I'm more open-minded. So I'm a different type of chick. So I don't know. I don't, I don't trip off that kind of stuff. All right, Nemi. Sean had his hand up. All right, my bad. Uh, no, with the, the last um, part of your comment, ma'am, if you say, you know, you, this is that, I agree. It's, it's Mr. Rogers' land of make-believe when it comes to social media. But there's a, there's a, there's a, side of reality to it now you said like, you can come home and do me okay well what if he's imagining that person <laughs> while he's with you and that creates a whole nother, I'm, I'm just i'm just throwing the 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 you know the statement out there it's like then it's it's, it's a problem you know what i'm saying it's like, it can easily cross cross hairs like that is it a problem is it really a problem though like so you wanna you wanna control and own a person mind body and soul. I don't think it's a problem if if as long as I don't know. Like you can't be calling me another chick name and I can't just call you another man's name, but if it makes the sex better, the relationship stronger, what's wrong with it? Like I, a healthy imagination is a good thing. Nah, I'm not, my name Wayne. You call me Michael, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> but that's you because you might be a little insecure. But I don't know because you yeah. say you got the dick game on lock. Why would you be pissed if you got the? Don't call game me Michael. As you say you got, then why would you be insecure because you already know she locked down? So why would you care if she fantasizing about somebody? Why would she even be fantasizing? It's it's healthy. We are we are living grown kids. We all fantasize about certain things. That's why porn is popping. That's why all this other shit, um, strip clubs popping. 
because it's a fantasy. It's not real. You think these strip bitches want to really fuck with you in real life? They don't. They don't. You think porn bitches are really that expeditious in real life in the bedroom with their husbands? No, they are not. It's a fantasy. It's it's bullshit. Smoke right. Yeah, Nemi. All right. For um mm-hmm. for me, my 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 Facebook, well, me and my wife together, we're the black umbrella company. So therefore, <laughs> on social media, we're building a brand. Like we're like Pepsi. So if someone's I... so if someone likes our page or someone likes that, that's cool because we clean each other's uh inboxes out. Like I'd be like, babe, go clean my inbox out if you see anything that look professional. Exactly. <laughs> If you don't think it looked professional, just delete it. This is just how we rock and roll. So I I don't I don't I don't take it that serious. Like a lot of people are looking for something different. I'm clearly building a brand, period. So that's where I'm at with it. Hey, right, Stacy. Really, babe. <laughs> so for me, um again, like I'm always on, like I get notifications that. Lacey may have some something popping up, whatever. So for me, it's a motivational thing for me, like to motivate my guy, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's why I'm always commenting and, and likes and loves and stuff. But um, I do think it's a problem when there are, are I don't, I'm not insecure by no means because I know what it is. But at the same time, when women are just uh, saying look crazy things and stuff you know you have a boundary you like um I, some people be trying to test you and stuff but i don't let it bother me but my thing is um women do um be out here be trying to be messy and stuff um but they say their comments or whatever I, I don't care but for me i like and i post on my guys page and all that to um show my support and to motivate so i have no problem with it hey watch it up. Stacy, why you just lie like that? <laughs> hey, hey, why you just lie? Like Shit yeah. is that, man. Hey, first off, I don't do no committed monogamous relationships, no way. You feel me? And I keep that real from day one. But uh, besides that, if I did do a committed monogamous monogamous relationship, I can like heart well <laughs> shit I want. And if you do it, it's blasphemy. Ain't no heart, no niggas pitch. You can do the females. You can heart the female. You can like female. You feel me? But if you, hey, if I get to like on the nigga page, it's I up. Love it. I love it. Thank you for being honest. Thank you for being honest. Hey, hey, hey do we, you going, way, you going through her mic? So I do like, like, hey, at all. You can like, you can like whoever shit because I'm the one that's fucking you anyway. So that's what it is. That's I'm late. just saying, are you going through the likes to find out? Like that seems like no. Nah, see the way, see the way Facebook work. If you friends with these mofo's, they tell you at the top of your timeline, hey, so and so commented under so and so stuff, or so and so like so. That's just how Facebook no, works. Facebook but definitely I, I, don't I tell I you that somebody likes somebody. Your like that. Though, yeah. People in relationships yes, shouldn't even be mean. Facebook friends in the first place. Yes, Facebook don't be telling you that it that somebody yeah. liked the picture. It only tell you if they comment. It don't tell you that somebody liked it. You literally have to go through the likes to find it. Okay. Instagram will tell you if they like it, though. Yeah, Facebook <laughs> probably getting it mixed up. So if you go to Facebook about. doing all of that, you uh, need to I ain't never been cheated all right, on a bitch. All right, Tara. <laughs> bitch okay, so, uh, I, I love how mature all of y'all are, and I aspire to be like y'all one day. So, um, for me. Like I would never know. Like I don't, I don't, I don't go. I'm not gonna go and track anything down. But here's the thing: if it's a famous person, okay, that doesn't matter. But if it's a real life person, this chick stay in the city with you. You didn't like all her pictures, and you comment and put with eggplants and stuff. It's not about the woman that you with being insecure, in my opinion. It's about the disrespect because you should not be behaving that way and commenting and going out of your way. Let's just talk Facebook because Instagram sets you up with the hearts. You got to hold that thing down and choose one of them. You can choose to like it, but if you done went all the way to heart or all the way to care, I, I might, look, listen, violence might ensue. I don't play games like that. So for me, you can like it. You can, you know, if she's pretty, that's fine. But when you start commenting and leaving sexual peaches and wet 
you know, we have some more respect than that. And here's the thing, and oh, and Miss Yolanda, why I, I do love you, and you be getting some points, honey. I do not want my man seeing oh, no. some female after how gorgeous she is and thinking how much he wants to smash her and coming home and smashing me instead because I feel like second place. No, 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 no. And like Sean said, that can lead to eventually him really needing her. Like, if, if he's, I get yes, fantasies, right. I get fantasies, but please don't do say that's to not how you decide to meet up. That's a bit much. That's, that's a bit much. And but you wouldn't even know that. He could be doing that on the regular. I didn't say right. I didn't know. That's, they, that's they, the problem. You by knowing it, ma. They do it. You stop knowing. Jesus Christ. Okay. Mm-mm. When you nope. take away, when you take away that option, like men are like, um, they almost are like, if you tell me not to do it, I'm gonna do it. When you when no, you say, not. I don't care, I promise you. Well, I'm not. Y'all I gonna do what y'all do. I would hope to God he wasn't doing it though. Like I do, I would never want to find that out. I would never. Yeah, like I love Jason Momoa. Okay, and we just roll it though. That's the thing that women don't. Right now, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't fantasize about another man. While but that's the mind. thing that women don't understand. We cannot control where our men want us to do, and we think we can. We cannot. So by you I, saying "Don't do this, don't do that," that makes him want to do it more. When you say, "Baby, listen," I shit that bitch. You got a fat ass. I ain't mad at you for liking it. You know I me. Mean? And he. I don't care about that. Like, you may not put your eggplant and your wet peach in the comments, though. I'm talking about the disrespect of going into the comments and making it seem like. You're asking her if you can smash. This is different. I don't care oh, about well, that's, that's just a level of disrespect, period, in a relationship. Yeah. If your man loves you, he's not going to do that. You don't have to tell a man what not to do. If he loves you and respects you, he's automatically going to respect you. When you well, tell you him... Last, did you see the, when the dude's way? Then he's going to disrespect you. But did you see the last one when he do One of these young gentlemen here, on the, I'm not going to name him, he might call himself out if he wants, literally said that he would cheat on his gal and come back and love her more after he'd been to some other snatches. <laughs> so I don't necessarily know if that's true. No. Let me go to uh, uh, FX. Uh, before we go, Miss v, Miss v, your dig said, hey now, and Nene said, YC Bay is hilarious. He F- is. F Mag, what about you? YC need a hug. He definitely <laughs> do. A group hug at this point. F Mag. Yeah, you hear me? <laughs> Look like you froze up. Oh yeah, that. Uh, who ain't go? I'm the lost drop. <laughs> uh, Shine. Uh, P P D P. Yeah, what it do? Uh, that whole social media, that whole social media shit. Mm-hmm. I think people face the wrong relationships, ruin lives, and shit like that. That ain't that ain't necessarily true. What you do on there is what ruin your relationship. Uh, that, bro. Like, I mean, it's a certain level of respect, stuff like that. Like, me personally, I don't give a fuck who you are to like and all that shit. Like, that don't bother me now. If you all in the head, if you all in that motherfucker comment, talking talking reckless or something like that, now we got an issue and stuff like that. But all that other shit, bro, Facebook ain't nothing but the Matrix, man. That shit ain't real, in my opinion. Like, y'all take that shit way too personal. Like, I don't know. Like, right. It is what it is. I don't care nothing about that shit, bro. Like, really, I really don't even like being friends with my lady on there, bro, because, I mean, at the end of the day, like, you mad at me because of some or some somebody else said to me, like, I can't control what the fuck nobody say to me, like, fuck you, man, like, why she said this? Why she hard in your shit? I ain't got a hard a damn thing, bro. I'm, I'm in trouble because you hard in my shit, man, man stop. Get over why this you shit. Why you going through all my life? That's why she's like That's a level of... It. That's a that's a level of insecurity in his own. Like I broke up with a I broke up with a female man about a year ago because she was sitting there. And she was like, "Uh, I had moved to Tupelo," and she was just like, "Why you you don't know her? Why is she your friend now? Why all these bitches sitting in front of you? Okay, I'm in Tupelo now, lady. Like, bitch, look at me. Like, what the fuck you think? <laughs> what you think this shit is? Like, stop playing with me. Like, I know I ain't no ugly nigga, so I mean it's natural that." People are drawn to your energy and shit like that. For one, two, like what? it's a person. I'm friends. You don't know what the hell going on. We could be networking, trying to make some money, trying to get generational wealth. I mean, if everybody ain't on that tour, then I don't know what the fuck going on anyway. But I don't know, man. Fuck uh, this. <laughs> I don't know. I got I got a different feeling. Then you know what I'm saying. I I, I can't say 
social media fake because there's real people on social media. You know what I'm saying? So we, we can't say it's fake. Like we can't say we can't say all oh, because they're a celebrity. Uh, I don't got a problem with it. You, you should have a problem with it, period, if you ask me. And I'm gonna tell you why. I, I feel like it depends on the stage of uh, uh, the relationship and who you're with. So we can't say, oh no, nah, they it's because they insecure. They they might they might be insecure. We don't know what, what trauma people went through before you got with them or anything. More than likely, all of us that's currently getting in relationships or dealing with people who've had previous relationships, you know what I'm saying? So depending on who you with, you know what I'm saying, and the goal that y'all got together, like if, if your significant other don't like the fact that you liking other females' posts or whatever, we got to respect that, you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't think we can just say, nah, they insecure. Nah, man, it, it's fake. It's a fake world. You know what I'm saying? Forget all that. Nah, I, I think that's being a little too, too unreal. You know what I'm saying? We can't say it's fake, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna keep it a thousand. Like, I don't give a damn if it's Chris Brown or not. You know what I mean? <laughs> if I see you climbing up under that motherfucker, oh, he can get it. I can tell people. Them niggas go on tour. You, you think them niggas unreachable? You know what I'm saying? They know how to get stage passes and all that. Dude, come on, man. I can tell people man, if your girl gonna do it, she's gonna do Females it. can't get got. Females can walk in clubs free now without a celebrity walk going in. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all all the attraction. Women are the attraction. You know what I'm saying? So let's not act like y'all can't get to a celebrity and all that. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, I, I believe that if you doing too much, that's a problem. You know what I'm saying? But can now, I say something real quick when he get finished? Right. Like, you can't control people, though. So you can want what you want and you just feel how you feel. But if a person wants okay. to do that, they oh, so do listen, it. listen, listen. You're right. You can want what you want. But if you're in a serious relationship, respect your partner. You know what I'm saying? That don't mean... <laughs> Want what you want, you can get on her and just disrespect your partner. Oh no, it ain't real, babe. This the fake world. No, what you just said was real. You just said that nigga made the blowjob. That shit real. You know what I'm saying? Why was your woman dancing like that though? That's hella disrespectful to you as a man. Yo, yeah. woman. But listen, what I'm saying. That's his point. That's what he's saying. He's saying it's not. If your man, if your your man approach you and he say, yo, he got a problem with what you done, you can't go to that man and say, oh, babe, this this unreal. Social media. No, that shit is real. You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't real, we ain't able to view. We ain't able to communicate with others. You know what I'm saying? That shit real. You know what I mean? Like, so. I, I I believe it's boundaries, you know what I'm saying? And you got to respect the per, per, per person you with, you know what I'm saying? If, if your significant other got a problem with it, respect that. Or, you know what I'm saying? Be safe. Do, do like YC say. YC say, hey, he got to understand it. Listen, <laughs> you know what I'm you know, saying? I'm like saying it's say. cool. I'm just saying if your woman give a fuck about you, why would she be saying, sending Real red shit to another dude. Like, the dudes she crazy. don't even know they love their women. But listen, when you when you went and you spoke on it, it was all like, oh baby, this social media ain't real. You know what I'm saying? We got this, you know what I'm saying? So no, it's not. Hey, nah, this man, got like a point. You like that episode of Black Mirror. I remember that episode of Black Mirror when them two dudes were playing their video game. And we're right. a girl in the game, but then in real life, them clowns kissing, trying to see if they really see that's that's why right. guess it was it was shit. It wasn't. <laughs> hey, uh, I got one more question but before I get to that. I want uh Wayne, I want to touch on a question Wayne had for uh, the battle of the sexes the other day. Wayne, go ahead and break that down. I want to see what everybody thinks. Oh, 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 okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I wasn't expecting that at all. So, all right. Let me see how I can word this without like misconstruing the definition of it. Uh, You're dragging it on. Come on, Wayne. Right. I'm not dragging it on. I literally need to figure out how to properly word this. Uh, fuck it. Best way I can think of, right? If you got any questions, just ask me and I'll elaborate. Hmm? Is, is a man still a good man oh. if he cheats 
Mm, I knew he was gonna say. Now, it. Hear me out before any of y'all interrupt me. The nigga crushing it at everything he do in life across the board, it don't matter. But he cheated on you. Does that or does that not still make him a good man? Hey, this is a I have my answer, answer and I ask the question. I'll let y'all go first. All right, Nimi, go ahead and take it first. Say that one more again, because this is a lot of commotion. Oh, so, it, so it's basically you, like, you so, acting so, on you so, asking so, the women that though. So I really but, uh, am. Well, I still want to hear. Really I still want to hear the women. Yeah, everybody here. So you just saying like Martin Luther King <laughs> was a powerful man. He did everything he was supposed to do, but he cheated. Is he? But still? it's rumored that he cheated on Coretta. So is he a good man or not? Because he cheated. But that's a question for the women, right? Like that. Right. Yeah. I, I, I want to hear from the women. And then heard the men's rebuttals too. All right, go ahead, Tara. We'll start with you. Um, like like I said, I think that the perception is it's about like this be Simone person. How you think about it? So if you're saying he wasn't like Donald Martin Luther King or whoever, they weren't a good man because they cheated. That the word or the, the use of the word man might be in this relationship. So he wasn't a good husband, he wasn't a good man because he cheated on this woman. They're not saying he's not a good leader or a good father or good whatever. So it depends on how you're using the word man. Now for me, if I'm with a guy and he is doing all these great things, but he cheats on me, my, when I say he is not a good man, I mean partner, lover, confidant, motherfucker to keep his word. That's what I mean when I say man. You cannot negate everything that Dr. Martin Luther King did because he cheated on his wife, but you can absolutely say he was a terrible husband if he cheated on his wife. All right, Tabitha. So I answered this the other day, and I pretty much that's what I said. Um, I always tell y'all, cheating is a rich man's sport. So if he killing a game and everything, Girl, else, you always say that. <laughs> I do. I, I have a problem with, with broke penis. Like, what huh? you say, Felix? I think we got a little truth to that, though. Real talk. It is. So I still feel he's a great man. He may not have been the best. That's, that's like me saying, my daughter's dad. He's an excellent father. Wonderful, but never take that away from him. He just wasn't the best dude for me. So yes, I don't think that should negate that. Okay, uh, Rick, Ricky. Who is the white man talking? Ricky, I mean, everybody knew that Martin Luther King was a hoe. This ain't nothing new. I don't know why people act like this so new. Like, that, that don't make him not a good man. That just hey, make him a hoe. In that pussy, okay. Like that make him a hoe. I mean. Uh, Really? For every, I'm listen. I'm keep. I'm in my Wayne words. Keep it always skunky with you. Right. Everybody knowing this. This ain't nothing new. Like I don't understand why people are like so flabbergasted that this man was out here getting his wee wee fucked and sucked on. Like I don't understand this. Behind every great man is about six bitches. Wow, Jesus, that's not how that goes. <laughs> that's exactly how that goes. That's how it go too. That's exactly how it goes. Okay, well, let's take down first Martin. off, women outnumber men like 10 to 1. First right. off, man right. is not turning down 20,000 coochies that's getting thrown at him. He okay, got let's, take, Marie, let's take it let's out, take out of Dr. Martin Luther King. Let's take it out of Dr. Martin the King. Let's talk about a man, a specific man. Can he be a good man with, if he's rocking everything else, but he's cheating on his wife? Yes, yes, he can still be a good man. That just makes him a horrible husband to her. He's not broke. He's broke. That just makes him a horrible husband to her. Real shit. To her. Not to the world, just to her. Uh, I mean, that's just what it is. I agree. What about uh, Yolanda? (laughs) Oh, repeat the question so I can accurately answer. So, uh, like we talk, like for instance, Martin Luther King was a great man. He did everything, but he cheated. Is is he still a good man if he cheat? What's the actual question? That's the question. Is a if a man is doing every single thing he supposed to do, but he cheats, is he still considered a good man? Okay, so if he cheat one time, of course. If it's an habitual cheater. Mm, you might not want to be with that man, although he's a good man. Like, a good man is considered what? That pays the bills, come home, do what he needs to do. That's the city. Oh. Is he good for you? Because if you're a woman that can't really take, mentally take, being consistently cheated on, then that's not a good man for you. Now, if you're a woman that don't give a fuck as long as you pay the bills, 
and come home sometimes and you don't want to struggle, then that's a good man for you. But is he a good man for me? You might be able to get it out once or twice, but I am a, I'm a revenge cheater. So if you cheat on me, we talk about it, we heal, and you cheat again, I'm definitely, most definitely going to cheat back. And one thing I know about me, y'all can't take the shit y'all put out. Uh, it's not really it. good in the long run. Miss Villa Diggs said no, because a good man cares about uh, the happiness of his woman. All right, Stacey, go ahead. Well, clearly, she wasn't doing something, but go ahead, Stacey. I think <laughs> clearly she wasn't. And clearly, they had a breakdown of communication because if you cheat once, we're going to talk about it. What we're not doing, what did you need? Let's We're going to talk about it. But if you keep cheating and shit, nah, you just a cheater. <laughs> I think a good man is hand on his. Um, that's what hand on his family, making sure that his wife is uh, happy, his family, his home is not broken. So by cheating, you will have a broken home. So to me, that is a good man. So is he, if he's out here cheating and stuff, he's not a good man. I don't care how much of a leader you are and stuff. What example are you setting for your daughters and all of that when you're out here cheating that's saying well you can have somebody your uh daughters will be cheated on all of that that's not a good man for me so no nope. real quick can i what if he don't let the cheating shit come home and he out in the street cheating but it never reaches his home is he considered he's a, good a man great man he's a great Oh he God, because he takes your feelings into consideration and he keeps that shit in the street. Because in all honesty, it's like a million, it's a thousand men to what, how many women? And I'm saying we got to deal with that, but the realistic realization of the situation is, baby, as long as you care enough about me to never bring me nothing, give me nothing, come home, take care of me and my family, and I never feel like you doing nothing in the street. I don't give a fuck what you do. Well, well, that's what no. I'm saying. But if he's um, bringing it home, uh, creating a broken home, then that's not a good man. That's creating no. a family and all of that. So if he's keeping whatever out in the street and never brings it home, <laughs> okay. I mean, like I'm about to, I don't, as long as I don't know about it, then. No, so Stacy, I got a real quick no, question no, for you. No, she she gonna tell me. This is ridiculous. No. Stacey, I got a question for you. What? No. So you, you no. said you said that it because he cheated, it don't make him a good man still because he was cheating on his wife. But his wife, and you was like, What example is he is he setting? But his wife still stayed with him. So what example is she setting? Right, because she mm. probably was there for her family, for her kids, and then she had the right. I mean, a, a, a lot of women, you never know what they're going through. You know what I'm saying? They may be want to leave, but she he was in leadership. She's trying to show his, um, stand behind his back and all that. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is that but what I said was if the man bringing it home, the family and the family knows about it, then that's a problem. So but she knew about it. Aware of it. Um, well, maybe she had a, you know, a low self-esteem, something going on, and maybe she was still trying to show support because, um, you know, he was a public person and all of that. So I don't know what the situation may have been or whatever, but at the same time, when you're breaking the family, you're breaking, um, it, it, you're not a good person. I just, I'm a little I, confused I, on how real, the family quick, was broken. I just want to say this to, to men on behalf of women who, who, who think like me. Um, I don't give a damn if I know about it or not. Do not cheat on me, please. I just, no. If you need somebody else, go be with them. This is not about, it doesn't make you better because I don't know. Ignorance is not bliss. I don't care if you're doing it in the streets and you never bring anything home, please do not cheat on me. Okay, that's that's all I got. All right. Why Twitter? You're here for the bed. I'm gonna cheat on you, and you're still gonna get cheated on. But okay. All right. What's what's not what's all the question? Cheat. Not all men uh, cheat. If you, I said, uh, like Martin Luther King, if you do everything great, you a great leader all across the board, and you cheat, are you still considered a good man? Hey, to keep it real, I don't think Martin Luther King cheated. Why? <laughs> because <laughs> hey, straight up. Why? Because <laughs> Coretta knew what the fuck the was question. going on. Coretta knew what the fuck was going on. And if you know what the fuck going on, that ain't cheating. That mean I'm keeping it real and I'm just doing what I, how, I'm just doing what nature intended. But besides that, 
besides that, like if a random guy just doing everything across the board, like everything, like far as the flowers, because I know women like the flowers. They like all this that small petty shit making. We like stock markets you, now. We let, don't like flowers. Let them know you like think about flowers. it. If, if, hold up. Flowers. Hold up. If a man doing all of that and the only thing he doing is cheating, yes, he's still a good man. But, hold up. But he need to overcome this one hurdle. And that is keeping it real with a woman that you potentially may be in a relationship with. He need to let that woman know he going to fuck these hoes regardless. <laughs> and if he don't let her know, he ain't a 100% man yet. He almost there. But once he able to be honest with these women, period, and that's what it is, Andy handling all his business, now that's a man. All right, Debbie Russell. <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, well, for me, sir and ladies, I must be the most super as good as man that could ever walk the planet. That is why, because Ooh, I, think Pope I need to talk to your wife. We need, I need okay, her. Listen, if my wife references. Was, okay, let okay now let me go ahead and say what I'm that saying. Now, I make posts on Facebook, right? And these posts be like, "Don't no side bitch better ever come fuck with me ever again because me and my wife getting tired of you hoes, right?" Now keep this in mind. My wife has, I never cheated for 12 years. Ain't never, I'm untakeable. First of all, I'm untakeable. You can't take me, right? Period. But my wife tells me every day I can have any one of these females that I want if I want one, but it ain't worth it for me. That is the epitome of a good man when a woman says, I, right, I'm giving you the go to get whatever the fuck you want. Period. And if you want, you can't, this can be the girl for the threesomes, for the fivesomes, for whatever the fuck you need her for assistance. I don't give a fuck what it is, my nigga, but I know you need extra help. I know I provide this, I provide that, but if you need something else, go get it. But for me, it ain't worth it. I hate so, it here. I hate it here. I, I really do. But that's just my relationship. I don't know the rest of the guy's relationship, I don't believe in cheating. So it's got to be cards all the way up. And with my woman, I told her, same thing. Like when she first met me, she was talking about she wanted to get banged, two guys. I'm like, hey, hey, I won't be the extra guy. But if you want me to pay for you to go to a, listen, but if you want me to pay for you to go to a brothel and get that thing beat up, yes. Listen, you only oh, live, boy. listen, you only live fucking one time, period, period. And if I'm your man and I'm giving you the go to go ahead and soil your royal oats, then goddamn, you my woman, go soil them bitches. Do you, do you hear yourself? That's crazy. You ain't gonna live off me. Hey, and I'm like, hey, swingers are the happy hey, hey, it's not a swinger. It's my not, a, oh, I know, you're you into, listen, call out. Finish. I got to finish. Let me finish because, you know, I've been peaceful and quiet and they told me I talk too much. So, therefore, let me Now, that's why. Now, again, <laughs> you may say, hey, that's fucking crazy. Period. But I am a, what I am, that man that cleans the thing, boom, ba, ba, so, 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 make the bed, ba, ba, da, ba, ba, ba. And when my woman comes home, she's like, nigga, you have set the plate. You have set the bar. You can do what the fuck you want to do. I'm just a gamer. Meaning, I, I play the game just to see if a bitch gonna reach. Bitch gonna reach, ah, nah, bitch, put your hands back. I'm too good for you. <laughs> That's just how I play the game, period. I don't want nothing in these streets. But... Yeah, that's just me. I'm just I mean, super. but why not sow your wild oats before you get into the relationship? Why say this is my woman? I'm gonna let her go get gang bang in a brothel. No, we've been together for 12 years straight. This ain't just no, this ain't just no, I've been with you six months, go bang. No, this is if you need something different sometimes <laughs> in, in, a, in a marriage. In a marriage. So, and she might Pay need something. Them. Why do she, other people have a problem with it? It's good she, for them. Yeah, and if, she, and if she need that extra spice, because listen, yeah. you got to understand, I'm only so big. She might want some shit that wrap around her motherfucking neck. Hey, who knows? <laughs> that, that's just me. Damn. That's just me. <laughs> now, you see how you laughing? Now, in a relationship, your man probably couldn't handle 
saying some shit like that, like, yeah, his dick might be this big and you might oh, need yeah. that motherfucker. That's just me, though. I'm Sometimes. just trying to envision it wrapping around the neck. That was a lot. I'm just saying, I just bet it's my, It happened before, but go Shut ahead. Shut your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> what? Damn, I'm just trying to keep it funky. <laughs> but hey, that's my relationship. I can have what I want, but I, it just ain't worth it. Period. But I'm, that means I'm super good. People put hey, uh, hey, uh, uh, Ricky, hey, what the fuck you be dealing with? Hey, uh, hey listen, I told y'all I was nasty in my previous life. Just leave uh, it at that. Yeah. Hey, look, y'all. We, Wilma Rice said this battle of the sexes is crazy as hell. And she did. We <laughs> laughing emojis. I just, I just want to go ahead and tell y'all real quick that Wilma Rice is my granny. Oh my uh, God. Hey, oh, hey wow. granny, how you doing, <laughs> granny? Hey, what's up? Hi. Hey, 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 why you gonna put your granny on blast like that? Now they finna be in her inbox. Granny pulling the tears. Now they finna be in her inbox. See, that's why Tara be trying to be out. She don't be no. trying to go overboard because Granny watched that. <laughs> All right, Felix, if mad, what you think, bro? Uh, listen, you know what I'm saying? She don't make a bad, a bad person, but it does make them kind of deceitful a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And I agree with what I see. You got to be 100. You got to know Seriously, this shit with I gotta explain this shit in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been with my wife now. We've been together down there ten years now, right? Listen, she understands. You know what I'm saying? Like, now I was always told <laughs> a woman don't want a man that another woman didn't want. You know what I'm saying? I was always told that. as a little dude. You know what I'm saying? Like. I, 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 I back in the day. I ain't gonna fake it to you. I used to be a cheater. Like it was hard, man. It was, it was grabbing left from right, and I I didn't know how to. You know what I'm saying? And I, I had to realize, you know what? Grabbing left from right. Yeah, man. Most is for me, right? You know what I'm saying? So when getting in a relationship, you know what? I need somebody that's that like females as well, you know what I'm saying? Like, so you gotta know what you want, you know what I'm saying? Everybody not like this, but my wife like females, you know what I'm saying? Listen, at this point, at this stage of my life, I'm content with really just her now, you know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, she wanna bring a female her and there, it gets, it goes down, you know what I'm saying? It, what about a <laughs> long nights at the crib, man, I'm telling you. you know? Straight up, man. We, I think we probably done broke a wreck. I think I had like six in one night, man. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you. Man. But we had the wild moments together. You know what I'm saying? That's something we did together, and we had fun with. That's what works for us. You know what I'm saying? But like, what if she I'm, wanted to bring a man in the in the Right. That's blasphemy. <laughs> Do you have six? Right. Why That's not? my Why question. Hey, man. Salute, bro. Side. You had six in one and night. Let That's, you know, yes. That's my wife. Yes, my wife and five other females. And yes. you her man. What the hell? Hey, yes. man, you the truth, bro. I'm loyal to you. Salute, man. Salute. I'm a little jealous because I tried a threesome once and it ended up being a two and a half some. So I'm, I'm a little jealous. Yeah, right. I'm that's something we built together Look, though. Somebody got mad. It's a long story, but just, just... <laughs> so everybody just wanted to sleep with me. Oh, wait a minute, I can't hear you feelings. Did you answer the part about what does she want to do to come? That's Are blasphemy. You said that's blasphemy. All, right. All, right, so All men can stir their pussy with no other man, but they can get that dick right. off like motherfucking flyers in a concert, oh. goddamn. Oh no, let me let the go finish. I'm I'm really the go. <laughs> and mute people lacy. Hey, right, so listen though. You know what I'm saying? All right, so just the understanding, right? I don't like she likes females. Why would I have you bring another man in my crib? You know what I'm saying? It, it, it don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? You were into females way before we even, you know what I'm saying? Oh. We we got a complete understand it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not into dudes. You know what I mean? Ain't no nigga stepping foot in my crib, but she love, she love women. You know well, what I'm saying? So it's different. You know what I'm saying? So 
Now, if, if if somebody else relationship, they like niggas and shit involved, you know what I'm saying? Like my man, he said he don't mind two niggas banging his wife. That's what he, that's at that's a, what at a brothel. Man. At a brothel. <laughs> Are you gonna watch Montel? No, that's yeah. a personal thing. Yeah, that no. works for him. You know what I'm saying? No, he no, don't mind it. Mm-mm. So when y'all got that type of no. understanding, it, it's different. From relationships, and they should not because what is for that it particular is. relationship I is for that person. particular relationship. Like, I'm gonna like, you, I don't want my man to cheat. But it's not cheat if you give her permission to fuck. It, and you watch them fuck. It's like, damn, you getting pussy, baby. Is that it, cheating? It's fine. No, it's not. It's fine. But so she's also agreed to do threesomes. So it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, and, and, and this is what I want y'all to understand. Like, I got everything out my system. I don't I don't need to have multiple women or anything like that, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, do I mind? No, I wouldn't. I don't mind, but I don't need to have it. I'm, I'm really content with my Ooh, wife. Can I ask you a question? I got to ask this question. So now that you've got it out of your system, is it a problem if she ain't got it out of hers? I mean, I'm pretty sure she got it on her system too. No, you know but what, what is she saying? I feel like what this, is I'm give it a thousand. I feel like every female, you know what I'm saying, coming up with a thought. I'm gonna give it a thousand. If more, if, right. if more than that, or five niggas them dug, dug in there, that's them thought, them thought vibes to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, straight up. <laughs> if you were saying to take no, your right. body count, I know. I got a step with you. If you were ashamed to say your body count, you know what I'm saying? What's the thought? thought? What's the what's the my wife, Listen, my wife was probably a thought, bro. I don't give a fuck. She ain't, you know what I'm what's, saying? What's the thought? That whole over there. <laughs> what fuck everybody? I don't listen, you know what I'm saying? Hey, just like we was coming up, y'all females was choosing, you know what I'm saying? Like. Let's not act like women don't choose. Y'all, y'all was choosing. I'm, my wife was a fly chicken school. We went to school together. Them niggas was on her. You know what I'm saying? I don't know all them niggas. I'm pretty sure few of them niggas them probably dug in that, bro. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? But we just talking about now where we at as as adults. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I, I can't I can't judge nobody for uh, high school days, none of that. We always young and wild. You know what I'm saying? I was. Why we always choose. I, I look, let me let uh, Wayne answer the question before we get to the last question. Damn, I thought that was the last question. Go ahead. Man, I'm going to just be, I'm going to keep my shit short. Oh, Lord. Lord. First thing first before I go, hey, man, do the truth. Six in the night. That man, that being yeah. said, I'm going to keep it on the place skunky with you. And you know what I'm saying? Hey, so I'm going to be real. I might need you to mute them after I say this, right? Check this out. <laughs> I might need yeah. you to mute everybody with estrogen, bro. I need. I might need you to mute them. I'm going to keep it all the way skunky with you. Real shit. I, me, I don't believe a gal. Let me, let me be specific. I don't believe a natural born woman as in a person with no aftermarket parts, they got everything that they came with from the flip. They can't tell me what a real man or what a good man is. You can't. And by you, the- can't, you can't tell me that I'm killing it across the board. Everything. But because a nigga went and got some side coochie, a nigga's not deemed a good man. He's not like, like, look, this all stems from the little shit. Uh, B. Simone doing her best Anthony Davis impersonation with that unibrow said, Hey, <laughs> Damn. hey this is what I got to say to this, right? Imagine, right? Imagine a nigga like Martin Luther King, right? <laughs> in the position that man was in in the time he was in. Granted, that nigga was talking about some serious shit. But that man to black people, to the world, but specifically to black people, was a rock star. As as, uh, Ricky said, that nigga not turn, if he did, Chief, that nigga not turning down 20,000 coochie. It's just not going to happen. Imagine if that nigga focused on his wife 
and didn't focus on the civil rights shit. Just so you mean be a did he have outside baby? Did Nobody claimed the dick, so he was doing something right. Regardless, the point I'm making is this, right? Hey, cheating isn't that serious. If you don't, hey, cheating isn't that serious, bro. I don't. I'm not stripped of all of my accolades because I went and got some side coochie. You, hey, I got some side coochie. You didn't like it. You have the option to leave. I'm not holding you high. So well, why that fucking same standard don't stand true for women? What the fuck? I'm so glad, I'm, I'm, I knew I was side dick. You a side you nigga, nigga my nigga. Card. Hey, you learned it. I say this on the show all the time, so we don't really. So I say this on the show all the time. Tabs and everybody else have heard this. Women can have any. Women can have any man that they put their mind in their. Men have to about? put in work. To bag women and some niggas make it look easy. I make it look easy. Mag dropping six in a night make it look easy. Why see Bay a rapper and a nigga funny? He make it look easy. I don't know because why see over there? He be just he needs some help, boy. <laughs> I love you too, Ricky. Right. The point I'm making is this: to answer your line of question, and I'm done with it after this. Men have to put in work to bag women. I have to be this. I have to have this. I have to be, I have to look a certain way. I have to be a certain height. I have to, all kinds of dumbass stipulations. You, as a woman, all you got to do, you don't, first things first, most women don't shoot their shot. So you're waiting to be approached. All you're doing is screening offers. I don't fuck with that nigga. I don't fuck with that nigga. And he was kind of cool. I'm liking that nigga. Perfect. All you're doing is screening offers. All you're doing is waiting to be entertained. When you find a nigga that you think you like enough, you give him a chance. Hey, it's not a nigga out here, including Mag, who bagging six in a night. No niggas batting a thousand. No niggas have a perfect batting average. Missing is a part of the game. But when you get your percentage rate up, that means you found something that works. That's why that doesn't work the same for men and women. Women can have women can have any man they put their mind and they coochie to. Facts. I right. have to to get coochie. And I'll say something to you real quick, boo. Go for it. Can you please not, like for real, a lot of stuff you said probably is very accurate in a lot of women. I don't know. I don't date bitches. I don't go out and seek women, so I can't say that what you're saying is not true. But from my perspective, I will approach a man. If I see a man and I'm, I think fly, you think I'm gonna let that opportunity escape me? I'm not. Like, I'm a different type of female, so what I'm saying to you is, please don't put all women in a bag. It's the Hear women me I'm Hear me really out. I was with you until you got to that last line. I said most. I didn't say all. I said most. Some women are so prideful that they like, nah, I'm the prize. That nigga better approach me. She, hey, she, look, you not know, look, you know how many girls that see dudes they like. What's what's that uh, what's that song with Marsha Ambrosia set with Floetry? Say yes. You know how many girls want to do that, but girls don't. Because they don't want to be on the receiving end of the rejection that they put out to the world. So they're like, fuck all that. No, that nigga got to approach me. I'm the prize. That's just the truth. So I didn't say all women. I said most. Some are just shy. Some are scared or just shy. It ain't got nothing to do with being prideful. I, that's true, which falls under the same category. Some of them not cold enough to know Most, that they all. some of them not cold enough to know that they didn't make they didn't chose him and made him choose them. They don't be using their feminine energy. That's all. Hey, exactly. Hey, they want to show up like, hey, what's up, bruh? What up, cuz? Oh, Wayne. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Use it. that feminine energy. Hey, no, look, sir. Start shooting y'all shot. Yeah, it's last question, last topic, y'all. It's a uh, Felix asked the question. I oh, go ahead, Felix. Go ahead, Ed, what you say? Ooh. I was saying, so 
Uh, this this a question for the women. None of y'all have ever, you know what I'm saying, experienced another female that had a threesome, none of that? I had a two and a half. I told you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Women? Now, both of them wanted Tab to sleep with me, so I don't know how that works. Like, Tabitha, Tara ain't going to tell us the truth because that grandma I've never had a threesome. I've never had a threesome. I'm very territorial. I'm playing type of games. I'm saying, but y'all, have y'all ever thought about it? No, I thought about it and it's not, I just, I just not for me. No, they, they, okay, and I'm gonna tell you why. I just, <laughs> if I'm down there and I smell her spit, and I'm just probably gonna throw up. <laughs> well, you see, I, I'm, I'm probably anyway. I'm, I'm not a carpet muncher, like, it, if I was to I'm, agree to something like that, you don't have to, I wouldn't be doing that anyway. But I'm just saying, that's what I'm saying. I would be, I'm gonna punch her in the face. It would be one sided. She would do everything to me, and I'd be like, "Thank you," because I. Well, yeah, that's not me. That's not me. So I'm not doing. It. But you would let Sorry. a female do that to you? No. No. Yes. No. Keep it real. Keep no. it real. No. I'm hold on. I have keep it real. I mean, because I'm not a selfish lover. If I know I'm not going to return the favor, then I, I don't need to be doing that, and I'm not doing that. I, I would they keep. Say, I'm they, not keeping score. I would keep it real. No, it's a no for me, and I only want my man thinking about me. It's me and him, not a me and him and her or whoever. No, not at all. Yeah, I want from a man. Who, <laughs> would you say? Would you say we selfish? I don't know what say, man. Oh, clown! A man who had who had multiple women in one night, and I'm telling y'all right now. You know what I'm saying, like. I don't think about these other women, dog. Real talk. I'm gonna keep it a thousand. Like, I I don't do one to the other women as much as I as I do for my wife. You know what I'm saying? I I made sure she knows she number one in that motherfucker, boy. Straight up, I talk, I talk crazy to that chocolate. It's my chocolate, ain't it? You know what I'm saying? This chocolate, Got you, like so. I'm a, so I, I don't know. I, I can't say because I don't think about the other females, bro. I don't give a fuck about them. You know what I'm saying? Let me get to this last topic. Okay, it says last topic. It says, uh, do you think traditional relationships are overrated? Because grandma wasn't happy. Yes. Yeah, All right. Uh, go ahead, F Mag. Break it down. Yes, traditional relationships are definitely overrated. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got to be able to explore together. Y'all got to be able to have fun together and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Not the same old boring. Oh, the man, you know what I'm saying? Do everything and you just the simple housewife. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, man, let's let's kick it. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's explore. Let's try different things and all of that. I used to be like closed off on, on, on trying shit, like even restaurants, for example. You know what I'm saying? I used to order the same shit because I was scared of stepping outside the box, you know what I'm saying? And like, man, I ain't fucked that, you know what I'm saying? Then I, I started just gradually getting into different um uh, entrees and, you know what I'm saying? Realizing, damn, you know what, man, I should have been trying, you know what I'm saying? So we, we got to try different stuff because you don't know what you would fall in love with next and all that, you know what I'm saying? Like the way I look at life is every five years, you know what I'm saying? Something change about us, you know what I mean? whether it's emotional, whether it's, you know what I'm saying, how we feel about a person and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like real talk, me and my wife been together about 10 years, right? As I told you. Uh, and through the 10 years, at one point, I really loved it. At one point, I'm like, man, I'm about done with this shit. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm loving her again. You know what I'm saying? Like, so life shows us that we go through different emotions, different trials. Well, we might might have loved. Man, I used to be heavy on cars. Like I still have a love for cars, but now I'm at the age where you know what? I'm not about to go dump all this money into this vehicle. I'm more into houses now. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me start doing stuff more with the kids and all of that. You know what I'm saying? All of this money I'd have put in cars and stuff. I could have been doing more trips, having and all other type of stuff with my family rather than this. So, you know, as we get, oh, yeah, forget the traditional stuff. Explore, man, have fun, you know what I'm saying? I have a question. What is what is this traditional, what are we talking about when we say traditional? Traditional relationship, you know. Monogamy. 
yes. monogamy, everything, you know, uh, the the rules. Uh, all right, so look, all right, so this is another thing too, right? For the women, I I know y'all say y'all not into females. Cool, don't have y'all don't got to be into females. You know what I'm saying? But one thing, uh, I think the one lady said. I don't know her name on her, but she's all like her and her guy, like the role play. Get into role playing. You know what I'm saying? Role playing is fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, have fun. Cool. You ain't got to, all right. You ain't about to have a bitch in her, but I'm going to act like this other bitch, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's right. You know what I'm saying? Don't um, be making, boring. Yeah, making good, making good your favorite actress. Okay, bet. I'm making good tonight. Which, you know what I'm saying? Like, Whatever, go crazy with it. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we mean when it's just traditional. Have fun. You know what I'm saying? Explore with each other, man, and and build that trust and communicate. Because ain't nothing like a a a, a, a relationship where y'all can't communicate. For like, not only communicate, you got to be able to comprehend each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like come on. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm I'll just, be open with you. I'm Can- just tell you like this. I like the role play, but like um. Lacey be getting all uh scurry and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> what that man <laughs> put in the middle? He be real shy, y'all. Man, gonna play. Like, what? You don't want me to talk like that? Man, like that. He be real shy. <laughs> <laughs> Lacey, <laughs> I bet you he be real shy. Oh, 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 Tabitha, go ahead with the what? The the uh, tra- do you think traditional relationships are overrated? They say grandma wasn't happy. They so granny grandma wasn't happy. happy. My granny was happy. She's somebody that you would want to. How be you know she was happy? She, she probably was doing that around you. How you know she wasn't? How you know she was? How you know she was? Because <laughs> she said she was happy. You calling my granny a liar, nigga? I'm just so, saying you want to run at twenty four seven. The word traditional. It's odd to me. I feel everyone should define their own relationship. So the word traditional, yeah, I'm going to say it may be overrated as to what society thinks because what works for Felix, what works for Stacey, what works for Tara, what works for Tam, is not all going to work for each other. Clearly, because we don't, we have very different views. So I can say I feel like it is kind of overrated because I don't think there's a blanket relationship. <laughs> I don't think there's one way to do it. Okay, why to the Oh, Hell yeah, man! That is <laughs> overrated, bro. Straight up, traditional relationships is a failure waiting to happen, bro. I'm telling you, all this shit is some European construct set up so the rich get richer and your poor ass stay poor and miserable and get cheated on by a lame ass nigga. And that would fuck be going on. But beside that, hell yeah, man. That's some European construct we gotta get back to the root to the foundation so so why see who hurt you but who are you funny as fuck dog i was in high school right i was in high school no this girl cheated on me with the new dude that came to the school and i've been heartbroken ever since I knew it. Uh, he right. we, we, we definitely giving you a group hug. All the ladies need to. We need to. We need to go get this man a hug. It was an ain't shit, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he was a kid. Uh, you was for Fifteen years <laughs> old. We were both fifteen. He <laughs> <laughs> was a kid. Oh, she cheated on me with the new light skinned dude that came to the school. <laughs> oh no! No, he was like, so she, she was an ain't shit, bitch at fifteen. Ask you ask how long is how long is it to let that hurt go? Hold on, yeah. Uh, hold on, hold on, yeah. We got we got a we got a comment from Granny. Oh, well, my, all right. She said, "What makes you think grandmas did not have fun back in the day and then try hey, different hey, things and then try different boy. things also?" Granny, oh, what no. you think? That's it. <laughs> I know. Hey, you we need grandma on the show? Is that Tara's grandma? <laughs> yep, <laughs> yep, that's Tara's grandma. Yep, Granny, what oh you think? Oh, my God, Granny, you win. She said, oh what, make, what makes you think I wouldn't have a fun, baby? <laughs> <laughs> and was. <what? laughs> that part. You ain't told that about your Granny, did you, Tara? <laughs> Not that you had to. Not that you have to use the granny voice, though, Lacey, really. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nimmy. One of the most perverted people in the world, too. I want to say that, too. Who oh, is? Nimmy, fit to get his issue off. Go ahead. Who's the most perverted people? 
women. Y'all, women. Go ahead, damn it. Go ahead, damn it. Oh, I, I, I agree with the homeboy. I, I agree I agree with YC, right? I agree with him. Why? Because <laughs> you got to understand, this is a, this is set up by Europeans. Imagine if we were never taken from, imagine if we were never taken from Africa, right? A lot those of people, ah, let me finish. A lot of those guys got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve wives. I seen a thing once where a guy actually laughed at a man. He said, How many wives do you have? He said, One. He says, Haha, you have one wife? He couldn't even believe that he only had one wife. So therefore, so therefore, due due to culture, due to culture, right? Just like over here, we eat beef, but over in another country, the cow is sacred, right? So due to culture, it's how they set up their system. Just like us, if we would have stuck to our original system, jumping the broom, right? Where, where do you think we would have been in our own traditions if we would have been able to set our own traditions in our own marriages? No, this is something set up by the European for the ring, for the, yeah, ah, yes My it tell. is. I'm gonna tell you no. what I know. Oh, well, gonna, because, because you mentioned African, my brother is from Zimbabwe, my, my brother-in-law, okay. and I've dated a Nigerian. The only people who actually have more than one wives and why they laugh is because it's a rich man's sport, man. You gotta have enough money to have a house for each wife for it to be legal in Africa. So all you American men, that's why they laugh at y'all. Because you're like, I'm gonna have me two bitches too. No, you gotta be able to afford them. You don't just have them because of no, because of no, You have I, to be I, able to afford no, each wife. No, man. no, no. This is what polygamy I'm telling you, is. My no, no. I know a girl right now. I'm telling that you what I know. Is in a is in a polygamous relationship, and they're all poor. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> not the actual. No, no. Let me finish. You cut me off. You cut me off. <laughs> and they're all listen. And I answer. I'm like, how do you have two and three? How do you have two girlfriends? And a man, and this, and your car looks like this, and your car looks like this, and she looks at me like, I, I, I she has nothing, so it's not a poor man's choice. She's it's African. No, no, no. She works oh, at fucking Walmart. She that's that's Walmart. why I said it. That's why <laughs> no, listen, African. So, I said, okay, you, okay, that's why oh, the no, Africans no, no, laugh at let, you because no, no, okay, they only do it as a rich man's okay. court. Okay, I'm gonna say this again. This girl is at Walmart and she's poor. This has nothing to do, it's about preference. It's about what you want in your life. So if you said something different, then it's gonna I be something different. If you said it's something African normal, people. it's different strokes. What we're all saying is it's different strokes for different folks. And if you want it, you want it. If you don't want it, you don't want it. That's all we're saying, period. Bro. Struggle ah. All right, Ricky. Ricky. Idiots. Oh, you don't get mad. Don't get mad, Twan. Don't get mad, Twan. Don't get mad. I hate rich people that live a life with rich people. Go ahead, Ricky. Hey, so I mean, my granny, I learned, rest my granny soul, because she'll be in this mug saying a whole bunch of cuss words. But my grandma, (laughs) she was not the typical grandma. Um. She was she was a hoe, like. Lisa Wine is with it. I mean, she it was genetic at some point in the. Like <laughs> they need to change the song to "Mama Was a Rolling Stone." No. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it all starts with the female. I'm not funny, but I mean, like, listen, my granny got six kids, right? And them just the ones we know about. <laughs> like my mama got ten kids, right? And them just the ones I know about. What? A, how do a woman hide her kids? No, hey, probably not that whole. What girl. question are we answering right now? What is the question that we're answering right Traditional now? Traditional relationships are overrated. Grandma okay. wasn't happy. You gotta give me one second. I'm gonna bring it all in. But no, Stacey, in real life, like. All of my mother's children are stepchildren. So it was literally one after the other one. So my oldest brother is, I don't even know what year is this shit. He would have, he, he's 40 something. But they was doing this thing back then. You know, they weren't honest back then. You know, they would have kids and get them motherfuckers away. That's how I found out about my 10th brother 
oh. my 10th sibling for my mom because she gave him up for adoption. Like, so it happened a lot back in their times. They just hit it. And my mama didn't, like, if we get pregnant, you don't even know. We just look like we had a 40. That's it. Right. But I'm not saying that Granny was happy. Granny played the game how she was supposed to because Granddaddy was doing what he was out here doing and my grandma was too. Shit. They had an open relationship, but everything worked. So, do, so, do, so, so you don't think traditional relationships are overrated? I think that your relationship is whatever you make it. I can't say traditional or non-traditional because shit, at this point, what's traditional? All right, Tara. Okay, Lord Jesus, today has been tough on me, y'all. Um, <laughs> Like, for real, I, I, I'm not built for this. This, I, I don't think anything is overrated if there are still people who want to do that thing. I agree with all the women and, and, and whoever else that said you do what's right for you. So do I think that polygamy and all the other stuff is the way to go? No, I can never live that life. But I'm not going to knock other people who do. Do I think that there's anything wrong with, you know, women staying at home and rearing the children and the man working? No, if you can afford to do that. Do I think anything is wrong with two people who work and split everything together and sharing bills and doing it? No, do whatever works for you. I also on the side note want to say to the man out here, who like why well, see you know send all the love to this brother y'all gotta let go of these past relationships and these past hurts what these females then did to y'all because what y'all do is y'all push that mess off on us and then we i am not to blame for what somebody else did to you sir so please get your emotions together all right i treat amazing women amazing it's the ain't shit bitches i stay away from <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, in YC's presence, he's always treated me amazing. Oh, my God. And when he I seems very it. respectable until he's answering the questions, and I just feel bad for what he's talking about. But I, I love, so I love my brother. I just, he makes I me smile. Oh I love my brother. I just never knew he had too. all this anger against what, you know what I'm saying? So I, I'm really this, learning. This, this is my therapy. But you know what? It don't even come across like anger, though. It be I be cracking up the whole time. You be, I don't think it's anger. I think it's definitely hurt, though. All right, Stacy, what about you? So for me, it's all, it's all over, right? Shut up, Brittany. <laughs> so, look. Okay, my money now traditional. I don't know about all that bunch of boys because I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna do what I want to do. I can't be uh having no man um going to work and I'm sitting there looking crazy you thinking I'm gonna cook and all this stuff we can we can do this stuff together I'm gonna be out there working getting mine because I want a, a bank account I want my own shit you know what I'm saying simple as that because Stacy uh, if they ask you for tacos they might get it huh <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying he can get whatever he wants and he can get whatever I want simple as that. I ain't gonna be sitting at home waiting on you to bring home the bacon when I can go get it. You know? Simple as that. So, to each his own, man. But that traditional stuff, it ain't it ain't built for me. And uh, as far as my granny, I don't know. Um, She ain't really, you know, she works in stuff too. So, I just think it's, um, I don't know. That's the back in the day type mess. I don't know. But to each his own. Right, it's ended up with Wayne. Uh, this has been a lot of interesting answers. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real. I actually do believe traditional relationships are overrated. Uh, <laughs> because when motherfuckers throw tradition around, they don't talk about most people who throw tradition around. They don't talk about themselves being traditional. They want their partner to be traditional. And basically, when I hear that, it's like you want to suck it. And you want to be able to, you know what I'm saying? And you want to be able to be, you want to do what the fuck you want to do, but you want that nigga to be a suck, right? I ain't gonna lie. I actually agree with Stacy on that shit. And that's rare, because me and Stacy never agree on shit on this show. <laughs> but, fucking, real talk, I never, like, me personally, I never believed in no motherfucking housewife. Like, you know what I'm saying? I need a partner, not a fucking, not an employee. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time for no motherfucker that's like, I ain't got no time for a motherfucker that's waiting on me at the crib. At this point, you know different than one of my dogs. The second I walk through one of the doors, the second I walk through the door, 
my dog staring at me, and you ain't did shit all day, so you <laughs> hey, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We gotta get outside. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Your housewife is when your housewife is she's cooking, she's cleaning, she's raising the kids. I don't know what you're talking about. Hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> I get the point and purpose of a housewife, but when I think about Look, I'm in it. I've been doing physical labor gigs as long as I've been tall enough to stand over a counter. You know what I'm saying? So I work hard and I've been working hard forever. You know what I'm saying? When you come in the crib, you ain't trying to have no more like niggas who got pets or dogs, or any of that shit, and they jumping all over you and you just had a time. Hey, fuck off me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now. Apply that to my apply that to my gale. Look, I want to see you. I appreciate all the affection and shit, but I need a second. Get, let me get a second to get myself together. Then you can have me as long as you want to. But the second I hop through the door and it's, oh my God, I've been in the house all day. I've been cooking. I've been cleaning. I've been doing this. I've been doing that. You just want to tip? No, that shit's dead. Like, don't nobody fuck no. So for me and where I'm at relationship-wise, you know what I'm saying? I feel like motherfuckers is looking for suckers out here. This is just me. This is my opinion. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I'm willing to die on that here. I feel like most women, and I'm speaking on women because I don't deal with men, just that disclaimer, so I ain't got to hear this shit no more. <laughs> Motherfuckers is looking for stuff. I see girls all the time. They like, look, I need, I, I want a traditional man. I ain't splitting no bills. I ain't doing this. I ain't doing that. All that other shit. And because for me, you want a traditional man so you can be a girl of today. Like, I make my own money so I can do what the fuck I want to do. That's not how that works, and I'm not rocking with it. So me personally, I'll just, you know, open up Wayne Marks in different locations, <laughs> drop off meat orders, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm going to live my life my way. So to bring it full circle, my relationship life works for me. Like everybody else said, as far as grandma's not being happy, I'm going to be real. My family fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I kind of felt Ricky when she said what she said, all right? No bullshit. I'm not joking. Nigga, this, this is on my daughter, Leilani Phillips. I never lie about this. No bullshit. My grandpa was a pimp. Ronald Eugene Phillips. That man was a pimp, okay? My grandma was his bottom bitch. I bullshit you not. Okay. Well, but look, I ain't got to go. go deeper than, I ain't got to go no deeper than that. That's the end of the show. Have a I ain't got to go no deeper than that. Motherfuckers you outside. What? So grandmas was living their lives. However they was living their lives. Grandma, grandma. Hey, what, what's the bottom? What's the bottom thing? <laughs> That's the top Hey, 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 hey so... In the world of pimping, a nigga bottom bitch, okay, you you own Steak and Shake, right? Cool. You own a Steak and Shake, right? Boom. You're the boss. So for the sake of this conversation, you're the pimp. That first motherfucker you go to for all the answers, that's your bottom bitch. Your manager, oh. that's your bottom bitch. That's who you go to for all your information. They know everything. They know where all the other hoes at. Oh, my they, God. They, they know everything. Stacy, he telling you so wrong. His bottom, the bottom bitch is the bitch that make the most money. That's oh, the number that's one bitch. That's also that, but your bottom okay. bitch is also your most entrusted employee. Fact. That's that's to the one that P. went to the longest. Hustle and flow. Right. That's okay. Yes, she was his bottom bitch. She knew everything. Okay. Yeah. I got, okay. okay. Yo, she manager, don't, 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 look, don't, don't catch no uh, harassment suit going mean. to work, going to your place and saying <laughs> this, but your main manager that you go to when you get there, like, hey, who on the schedule, who here, who doing this, da 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 Stacey, that is your bottom bitch. Oh, Lord. Okay. I, I, Lord. We don't want to have oh, to call you an HR, so don't call hey, you next. Hey, salute Tara Grandma. Hey, I've been, fine. I've been knowing forever. Tara been telling me that you've been a fan of mine, and I gave you a shout out last show. Look, I'm glad you was able to tune in live and watch the show. Wait, it's like, you mentioned a fucking mutilation. Mutilation. <laughs> you say what? 
Do not mention Wayne Mart or a coupon to my grand. <laughs> not, not, girl, no. I, I got a coupon no, at the end nigga. of the show, but it's not it's not to your grandma, okay? Oh it's my not. god. But I'm done. That's yeah. that's all I had to say about that. Sarah, now let her live her best life. You know what, Vicky? Not today. Mm-hmm. Let her live her that she who the mama. <laughs> Right, oh, boy, help me. Don't we got some riddles? Please. I ain't got no riddles. <laughs> All right, yeah, that is the hold on, man. That is the end of our battle with the sexes, man. Thank you to everybody who stood. I know battle with the sexes would be long because it'd be with so many people. So I thank you to the, the people who laughed. We done lost about three or four people, but thanks to everybody who stayed the whole show. You know what I'm saying? Show that stamina. We had a wild, crazy show. We had some crazy <laughs> topics. We got grandmas watching. We got ancient bitches. We got all <laughs> the <type of laughs> bottom bitches. We got people that. being hurt in high school. We got people with, you know, sending their women to brothels and get banged. That nigga a wild boy. <laughs> we didn't have, we we have, have people. We even had people knocking down six women in one night up in this. Legendary. <laughs> Legendary. 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 I wanted to, I wanted to ask step. you a question. And I don't know if we can do it on our next podcast or if y'all want to stay here to do it tonight. But I really wonder if Black men know how to love Black women anymore. We're going to talk about that. Oh, yeah. on, on Black topic. men don't know how to pick quality a quality woman. That's what it is. We don't know how to pick a quality woman. I'm phenomenal, woman. so I know how to love that. <laughs> we'll talk about that know. on the next podcast. You know, we're learning as we go. we learning as we go. But listen, you know Tara, let them know where they can find you. You got anything coming up? Um, you can find me on YouTube, Opinionated Sense. Instagram, Opinionated underscore Sense. And I'm going to be doing about Another donation of probably another 50 perfumes. So I'll talk about that later. All right, Ricky, no. let them know where they can find you at. You got anything coming up? I'm moving on Tuesday to yeah. underscore location. On up. To the big house, girl. Yes, yeah, the girl footage. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Um, I ain't got nothing coming up, and I don't know. They know they can't find me. But um, <laughs> if I knew how to make memes, Felix, I swear you would be on a whole lot of them. Because <laughs> <laughs> that what you said tonight, today, whatever, however you want to look at it, that's meme worthy, sir. I need to have like somebody need to make a meme with like six bitches trying to get up there and like have hey, you like I'm just saying oh, like yeah, that's just. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If I knew I how to do that, that was a wild hey, we wasn't. I don't think neither me or her was expecting that though. I ain't gonna fake it to you. It was wild. I just want to know that they have to find nine disclosures because, like, how the hell y'all be picking five bitches, five other bitches, and be like, "Come on, all of y'all." Like, how does that work? It's, I, it's not as hard as you like. To okay, the hell of a <laughs> so listen, to, to sum it up, I, so I listen, know that's right, Rick James. I to sum it up, this particular night we was at a party. You know what I'm saying? And you know, if if, if everybody know me and Porsche, you know what I'm saying? We always had like parties and shit too. Like we we have fun with each other. You know what I'm saying? So we went to a homeboy party. He had like a little. It was like a little stripper party or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But it was like some friends. You know what I'm saying? Like. Chicks that wasn't dancing, but they was acting like the dancers, but they wasn't the dancers. You know what I'm saying? So we all vibing. Yeah, so we all drinking, vibing, all that. And then he was all like, man, hey, they crib dope. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, shit, let's let shit. What we doing after this? We like, shit, y'all can pull up. And I swear, all five of the friends just pulled up and everybody was so lit. I, I, I think. Man, I think I just started kissing on my wife or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because we was telling them what we do. They like, we want to watch. And wow. they, <laughs> wife, wife he was like, let's put the show on. You know what I'm saying? And from there, they all just slowly just started joining in. It was like crazy. Man, I ain't gonna fake it. Fuck it. salute, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was one of those Jesus. just, it just happened type of thing. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't forced, none of that. It just happened. I'm curious. I was, I was really just curious, like, how the hell just yeah. that, like, because you got to yeah, get five bitches happened. that like each other for one. 
Like that's that was, hey, we, was we was putting on a show. We, and, and I guarantee some some of the chicks y'all y'all know too. Yeah, I ain't gonna fake it to y'all. Y'all might know them. Yeah, I don't know none of them hoes, but uh, go ahead. Ain't no point of me lying about it. I don't be knowing none of these bitches around here. I'm just saying, I don't. Not at all. That's so funny. But that's you know what you live a very interesting life, Felix. Good, good for you. All right, uh, Grandma uh, Wilma Wright said you all have a good night. All right, good night. It is like her bedtime. Tabitha, let them know where they can find you and you got anything coming up. Tabitha Shante on Facebook and Instagram. Look for me on the radio soon and in an upcoming film festival. What's your uh, what's your uh, name? Yeah, so we're, so we're coming up between two, either Queen T, Lady T, or TC, like Lady TC. So let me know. Oh, what happened to Lady Shante? Right. I like that one. Why don't you? Uh, yeah. My, my name Shantae is spelled C H A N T A. And if somebody called me Chanta, <laughs> okay, correct them like you do us. The fuck? I'm tired of doing that. I've been doing that for X eight. amount of years. I'm tired. Tabitha with all A's, no I. So yeah, just go ahead and correct them the way you do that one. <sighs> all right. And why to the let them know where they can find you at? You got anything? Tadden is God. If you're looking for me, just pray. But hey, do your Google. <laughs> Y-C-B-E-Y. Y-C-B-E-Y. I am writer, director, producer, rapper, full-time entrepreneur, boss. God living in heaven on earth in real life. What the fuck going on is what been going on is we're going to keep going on. Tap in with the campaign. Roll with us or get rolled over. And that's what it is. You know, well, yeah, wait like, a minute. I got a question. Like, yeah, real fast. One, of my favorite like one question things. real fast. Like, when my we pray, what we supposed hope. to say to find you? Like, I'm confused. I'm, I'm going to pop up. I'm just going to pop up. Just be like, hey, God, and here I am. Oh, oh, hey, God. Uh, you know I'm what? Up. I ain't going to play with God and them like that. I can't play with <laughs> God and them. God, God is speaking through me to talk to you. I ain't even play with God and them like that. I ain't doing it. All right. Yeah. God in them. F back. Let them know where they can find you. Yeah, you got anything coming up up in this? Yeah, 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 yeah. F mag uh Junior Hill or vice versa, some shit like that on uh Facebook. Um, <laughs> I, I just went on here and did a Twitter, you know what I'm saying? So uh Twitter F Mag, you know. Welcome. What I mean? Yeah, yeah, salute, salute. Y'all follow me on that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Instagram, I, I think I'm the real elf mag on there or some shit like that. And uh, yeah, that's it, man. I'm, you know, I'm I'm chilling, man. I'm uh in the process of uh, well, I ain't gonna say in the process, but I I'll be out of St. Louis probably within the next four months. So you know what I mean? Oh, congratulations! Don't ever come back. Yeah. I hate it here. I gotta, I gotta get you at a, I gotta get you at one of our fields real quick. Uh, hey, listen, I'm gonna. Like, see, ain't nobody stood in your way. Hey, hey, G Soul, you my dog. So, anytime you need me, man, I'll fly. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all miss, y'all miss F Mag battle up in this piece. Me, oh, yeah, Stacey, yeah, and Wayne yeah. was up in the bill. Yeah, I yeah, hey, parade. I wasn't done. Hey, I straight appreciate y'all coming through, too. Hey, listen, I had my uh first slip up ever in the battle, man. Them niggas ate that, they ate, ate it up. Man, them niggas <laughs> you lie? Hey, them niggas was happy about it too. Tab well, Tabitha, like, oh, Tabitha, yeah. Tabitha ass, did you lose F back? Man, I don't lose, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but so listen, you didn't win. I got battle rap <laughs> niggas that hate me so much that they say I no, I, I definitely won. No, I definitely won. Footage will be dropping soon. I definitely won, but you know, it the way battle rap goes, like stumbles, you know what I'm saying? It it almost kind of shaved a little points off you. So even okay. though after the stumble, I started back over and just kind of flow straight through it from there, you know what I'm saying? But them stumbles sometimes, that's just how battle rap is, especially if you got money on the line, you down there automatically lose the money, you know what I'm saying? Like if you if you stumble, you know what I'm saying? And another, your opponent have a perfect showing whether it was under you or not, you know what I'm saying? So he had a perfect showing, but it wasn't fucking with the material I had though, you know what I'm saying? Like, Did you yeah. battle against him too? Ain't he like the oldest battle rapper alive or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga old in the motherfucker. Put like, him <laughs> head ice. Put him head ice. Oh, he hit ice. 
<laughs> yeah, on, on my mama, I don't know who owed him or his. Sway, like, Sway, Sway probably the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, them niggas old. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Stacy, let them know where they can find you. You got anything coming up? You can find me. No. Um, of course, um, you can find me shaking it up with Steak and Shake. We're going to make that make sense. Um, also on Facebook, under Stacy White, pretty soon, 105.1, you'll be finding me or hearing me on there um, with, with Lady Shantae. Um, I like that. Also, um, <laughs> Miss STL um, stylist on uh, Instagram. I rarely get on Instagram, so yeah. But anyway, look for things coming up. Just follow me on Facebook, and you will see what's next. All right, <laughs> Wayne. Let me know where I can find you. You got anything? You can find his black ass at Wayne Mark. Next. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Wayne, look, I'm a, I'm a, I'm out of Facebook correctional in seven days. All right, so uh, Wayne Phillips. On hey, Facebook. hey, can I have all your commissary? Uh, no, I need all my honey buns and apple pie. But nah, uh, you know, it's your cornbread. Yeah, Wayne Phillips on Facebook, King Problem ninety one on YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah. Uh, Wayne Mark, obviously, um, you're looking for premium hydroponics, feel free to stop by Wayne Mark Garden Department. Uh, <laughs> edible, you know what I'm saying? And if you're looking for meat orders, ladies, if you're looking for meat orders, feel free to stop by <laughs> Wayne Mark Meat Department. You know what I'm saying? 15% off on your first purchase. Uh, <laughs> promo code tonight. G, oh, the way. All right, yeah. Uh, GGLT, uh, 2022. Grandma's got to live too. 2022. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Mention that promo code. Oh 15% off on your first meat order. We outside, <laughs> man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We outside. We living our best lives, man. Salute to everybody on the show tonight. You know what I'm saying? That's good. Good love. Uh, man, we had, hey, man, we had. Oh, a- fun <laughs> fact. Hey, I can't compete with Mag, but I ain't gonna lie. My record <laughs> was three that night. That was a hard night, by the way. But it was three. This nigga said six. Like, yeah. Hold on, I, hold on. Listen, listen. I had eight of them, and then I woke up and found out I was dreaming. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, change that up real quick, man. Stacy face was looking. You one finna have that nigga finna come to the crib, but all this change that shit up real fast. Better make it make sense. And I'm your host, man, Lacey G. Soldier Turner. I just got a lot coming up. Y'all gonna see? I'm finna unleash this, 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 this. Clip on oh, yeah, that's what I say. You doing all right. your freestyles every day? That's what's up. Hey, I've been dro- hey, my brother, the one guy we dropped, he told oh, me yeah, you yeah, could yeah. get paid when he told me you could get paid on the reels from dropping freestyles. I was like, oh heck yeah. Yeah, yeah I just oh, got another really? chick from them not too long ago. Yeah, yeah, you get paid them. So that's why I've been dropping these freestyles. The, the, the money building up. I'm looking at it right now. I'm like, all right, let's get it. I'm, I'm telling you, how that, oh, y'all, y'all gonna have to tell me how that work, man. Yeah, I might I might have to go ahead, you know what I'm definitely, saying? Definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, go to YouTube University and break it all down. <laughs> he told me I did my research. I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> Damn right. Yeah, man, we had a crazy show, man. We had some great topics. We going to uh, do the, uh, I'm gonna, uh, probably next month, we're going to do the barbershop talk again for the fellas and the lipstick. Y'all can sit up there and buy all night. We also gonna... not here Monday for Memorial yeah, we Day. We're not, we not going to be here Monday for Memorial Day, so we'll be back the following Monday after that. So, this, but hey, man, we was here for almost three hours, so this should give y'all a lot of content, you know, to come back and watch if y'all ain't check this out, man. So, all right, y'all, y'all have a good night. We'll do another Peace. battle of the sexes and our barbershop Salute. and lipstick all next month in June sometime. Salute, y'all. Peace and blessings. Salute. 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 Salute.